I went nuts this past weekend and I bought nine long boxes of comics from the Midtown Comics Outlet. Ooh, that's a lot of comic books, but we're going to go through them all today. Hello, my YouTube friend Pop Comics here, and in today's video, we're going to go through nine long boxes of comics I bought this past weekend. I paid like $600, so I didn't really spend that much money for that amount of comic books. They were having a 60% off sale, so it was three long boxes I picked out at 40 cents a piece. And six mystery boxes of independent books. I don't know what's in them, but I'm kind of excited to dig through them. I love independent books, so I figured out like 15 cents a piece. If I can find like one in six I would buy for a dollar, then everything else is for free, basically. Okay, let's start digging into these boxes. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what this is. That, okay, this is one of the mystery boxes. Let's start with a mystery box, box number one. Okay, let's see what's in this box. We got uh, John Sable, number 24. I am working on a complete first run, so hopefully there's a few that I need uh not even sure what that says but it looks very interesting that's kind of cool oh the wicked and the divine i don't think i had that one number 38 that is cool so that's actually let me let's see i probably would have pulled that one out while i was digging through uh dogs of london a cool looking aftershock okay that's cool if there's a lot of like aftershock and some of the smaller publishers i'd actually be very happy with that uh, uh ultraman comic that is really cool uh oh okay cool thing is it looks like there's some duplicates so duplicates will be easier for me to pull out the put. You know, I can probably get a couple bucks out of the duplicates. Uh, Wicked Divine 38. Oh, a whole bunch of Wicked Divine. That's crazy. I was actually pulling some out to buy. So, oh, we got some fun Action Lab stuff. Miranda in the Hailstorm number one. That looks really cool. I probably would have pulled that out. Uh, issue number three. Little Monsters number three. Beautiful Dustin Nguyen artwork in a Jeff Lemire written. I probably would have bought that too uh in hell we fight that looks cool wicked and divine number 39 i actually would have pulled that out well okay this is turning out to be a great box at the price so basically uh it was 40 dollars a box i basically paid 50 cents a piece and the wicked and divine is a series that i'm working on or that we oh ninja turtles i was actually trying to pull out ninja Tur okay this is actually turning out to be quite an awesome box uh dead by daylight number two weird work that's a really, really fun looking cover. Love that. Uh, more John Sable. So these I might have, but I'm kind of hoping that there's like a couple of firsts I do need for my collection. Uh, Never Ender number one. That one looks really cool. Okay. Got a couple short boxes to put them into as I pull them out. Uh, Dark Gods Avatar. Dark Gods Avatar. That's cool. Oh, Money Shot. I would like to work on this series a bit. That is super dope. Uh, more Dark Gods. So it looks like a whole run of these Dark God issues, which is neat. Uh, Bloodshot. I, I do want to work on the newer Valiant stuff from the last 10 years. I just don't want to pay a lot. So this is perfect. Paying like 15 cents each is awesome. Happy Astronaut from Keen Spot. That's cool. Actually, there's not a ton of Keen Spot issues. I was kind of think of just putting that whole uh, publisher together. Hellboy, She, those are cool. Oh, more Money Shot. Sweet. I love that cover. Such a fun cover. Oh, Galaxy Quest? That is dope. Love Galaxy Quest. Such a fun uh, movie, and it's really fun that there's some comics to it. These are actually really neat. I was not uh, expecting Galaxy Quest in there. I really like those. Okay. Oh, Judge Dredd. That is neat. Oh, I would have pulled that out. Okay. You know what? There's a lot of stuff in here that I would have pulled out at $0.40 cents a piece. Or if I was just digging a regular dollar bin, I probably would have pulled out Spelljammer. Uh, this is the first right here. Warriors of Plasma, that's the first kind of like, eh, eh. Oh, this is a cool 8 Billion Genies, number four. I'm not sure if I have that issue. That is awesome. Uh, G.I. Joe, number 299. That's cool, too. I love G.I. Joe. Uh, this is the next one that's kind of like, eh, kind of cheaper, older stuff. Uh, Planet of the Apes, that is actually really dope, too. Wow, this is, the amount of better stuff in here is uh, pretty awesome. Far Cry. Vikings, number one. Can't really see the glare is super strong today uh ascend okay let me put these in the boxes okay what do we got we got uh department of truth issue 12 that is really cool animosity number four number five uh may number one i believe that's actually a really fun cover I like that common foe oh that's a really cool cover too uh, another issue of Common Foe. So a few issues of that series. Those are really cool. Uh, Jupiter's Legacy Requiem number one. 
That is neat. Common Grounds number six. Uh, Team Young Blow. Okay, there's a weaker one. <laughs> I was afraid there's going to be a lot of this kind of stuff, but so far there's not a ton of this kind of weaker 90s image stuff. So I'm actually really happy so far. Uh, Fate of the Blade. That's actually a really cool looking cover. Nightfall. Okay, I'm... Uh... You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually, I'm going to pull them out of the box so we can see them a little better. Let's see if this is a little bit easier. Uh, Night Glider 1, Black Terror. That looks really cool, actually. Uh, okay, some more cheaper 90s stuff. Lovesick. Uh, Young Liners, David Laffin. That's actually really cool. Another Black Terror. That's an awesome cover. Love that. A uh, DV8, kind of a weaker one. Uh, Hunter Killer, number 12. Pretty cool uh, Sylvester cover. Heartthrob, number 4. Uh, some kind of really small indie book. The Massive Ninth Wave, number four. Uh, the Last Session, number three. That looks really fun. Love that cover. Army of Darkness, number one. That's cool. Uh, Blacksmith Turf, number two. Oh. Uh, turf, number three. The Nalog. That looks kind of interesting. Uh, oh, another one of those. Okay, I'm going to have some duplicates in here. That's okay, though. I'll have a nice dollar bin for my shop. <laughs> Unless it's something nicer. Maybe I'll try to get two out of that. Because that looks kind of cool, actually. Uh, Rose, number three. Black Road, number three. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Okay, next stack. We got Prodigy, number two. Prodigy, number four. Uh, Hit Girl, number two. Oh, I, actually, I didn't grab any of these. I was thinking oh, I probably should grab some. So I'm actually kind of happy that's in there. Oh, another kind of weaker one. Youngblood. Young Blood, okay, a couple of weaker ones. Death or Glory, number six. Uh, Service Going Home, number eight. That's actually really cool. Service 239, actually. Uh, Bloodshot 2, okay, a little bit weaker. I, I, again, I was kind of afraid it was going to be a lot of that, but so far, there's enough other publishers in here. I'm pretty happy, actually. North Guard, number three. Uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. Oh, that's fun. I actually really like that. Uh, Scorched, number one. That's cool. Uh, Velocity number two. Hyper Song number one. Once and Future Queen number two. That's actually really cool looking. I love that cover. Uh, Kick Ass number 18. Again, I was thinking I should have grabbed some of these, so I'm actually kind of happy there's a bunch in the boxes. Okay, next handful. Okay, we got a uh, reality check. That looks cool. Uh, second Chances, Unholy Grail, that looks cool, Starseed, Airboy number 22, not exactly sure which Airboys I need, so hopefully I need a couple of those, a uh, little Ash Can, uh, Star Slayer 29, oh, I was saying, I think I need the higher numbers, I didn't grab them, I kind of regretted not grabbing them, so I'm actually happy to see that as well, uh, Scorch number one, Spawn Cover, that's cool, uh, Star Wars, Hyperspace Stories number one, American Century, number 23, beautiful cover. Uh, number 24, another beautiful cover. Captain Confederacy, number 3. Uh, City of Heroes, eh. So So Comic, number 17. Uh, I think that's, is that early David Nakayama? I think that's the early David Nakayama signature. Not 100% sure on that. Uh, Turf, number 2. Dreadstar, number 12. Uh, I don't have the best setup in the shop to film these, so I'm try just trying my best. Uh, Turok 28. Uh, was that? Barrier number three. That's actually a really cool looking cover. Okay, let me move those. I think almost halfway through. I'm having a lot of fun with this box. Uh, iBots number two. East Divers number three. That's a really cool looking cover. Dark Ages number one. That one looks pretty cool. Ninth Wave number one. Uh, ninth Wave number two. These are actually really cool looking as well. Number three. Uncanny number four. Dark Gods number two. Number two again. So there must be A, B variant or A, B, C variants. <laughs> Dark Gods one. Oh, that's cool. Really cool monster covers. Virus number two. Blue cover. That's actually cool. Tainted Love. Another copy of that. Or from that series. Factory number two. 
Independence Day number three. Hellbreak number one. Uh, a lot of the stuff I wanted, I just didn't want to pay 40 cents. 15 cents is perfect for this. Normals number four. Normals number three. No, oh, that's a cool cover. These are actually really cool covers on those. Norman number four. I love that cover. Great cover. Uh, Miss Cyanide and Ice. Eh, not as cool. Oh, really cool. This is the um, Adam Hughes series, I believe. Really cool variant. I actually don't have that one yet. Happy to get that. Uh, Magnus Robot Fighter, a high number. That one's probably a little bit rarer to get. Number 50. Oh, two of them. All right, really cool. The Ball, number five. The Riff, number three. Okay, let me get another stack. Okay, next stack, we got uh, The Riff, number four. Uh, Lark's Killer, number five. Voidwalker, number one. Uh, okay, another duplicate. Last Song, number two. Uh, the Revision First. Lost City Explorers 3. Rift World Legends. A couple of copies of those. Really nice covers. Uh, Millennials number 2. Kind of a more indie book. Uh, Tight, the Mighty Titan number 6. Kick-Ass number 15. Again, I'm kind of happy that there is some uh, Kick-Ass in here. Highlander, the American Dream. That's actually kind of cool. I love Highlander. Oh, Stargate Universe. That's cool too. Love Stargate. It's number six of that. Uh, Mr. Peabody, that is fun. Middle West, number 11. Scotty Young book. That is really cool, actually. Middle West, number seven. Okay, those two are really cool. I would have pulled those out. I didn't see those. Okay, those are really good. Okay, next handful. We got uh, Zen Intergalactic Ninja, number two. Uh, Grave Life. That cover is really cool. I love that cover. Oh, more junk. <laughs> I might have even grabbed one of these for uh, 40 cents. Or maybe I passed them out because I thought maybe I have them already. Really fun uh, Kyle Baker covers, though. Uh, oh, Descender number four. Love that cover. Love it, Descender. Oh, more junk. Uh, Jasmine, not sure of the number. Uh, Chasing the Dragon number four. Alters number one. That's cool looking. Oh, Betty and Veronica number one. That's uh, Rian Gonzalez cover. I actually have never seen that before. Okay, I definitely would have pulled that out. I would have paid, if I bought that in a dollar bin, I would be thrilled. That's amazing. Oberon 3. Uh, Mew Mew? Mew or Mew Men? That's interesting looking. Stump Town number seven. The Watcher number two. Jay and Cleto cover. That's a gorgeous cover. I would have pulled that out for a buck. Uh, Express. Uh, Jade Street number four. Beautiful cover. Love that cover. More kick ass. I'm actually really thrilled there's a bunch of kick ass. Uh, Micronauts number four. Love Micronauts. Micronaut four. The action figure variant. Micronauts six. Yeah, so these I didn't want to pick out for a dollar, but I'm happy to get them. I kind of wanted them. I just wanted to get them cheap. So 15 cents. Super cheap. Really happy to have them. Micronauts eight. Uh, oh, the Alice Ross cover. Hydro Pyromania. That's awesome. Love that. Micronauts 11, Micronauts 2, Micronauts 1. Oh, that's uh, really cool. I love um, Baron Kaiza, Karza. Oh, yeah, Karza. That character's cool. That's a cool cover. I would have pulled that one out for a dollar just because it's a beautiful cover. Okay, wow, this box is turning out to be fantastic. Pretty sure if all their mystery boxes are about this mix of fun, newer stuff, i probably buy them all the time. Uh, Commanders in Crisis. Fables 82. Love Fables. I might have that one already. But if I don't have it, I'm thrilled to get it. Uh, Sabretooth Dan. It's a weird looking comic. Ugh, okay. Valiant from the 90s is so common. I have so much of it. I don't get that excited for it. <laughs> so far, the 90s image in Valiant is not too overpopulated here. So I'm actually happy with that. Wolf number seven. Oh, more of the Alex Ross. These are actually really cool. I probably would have pulled those out for a dollar. More Micronauts. Dr. Horrible one shot. More Micronauts. The Micronauts are super dope. Uh, Siege number two. City of Heroes nine. Rami. I think I even grabbed one of these for 40 cents. Uh, Outcast number 21. That is cool. King's Road number one. Uh, and Continuity. These I'm not as excited to get. Okay. That stack's not too bad. A couple weaker books, but a couple awesome books too. Okay. Next hand flow. We got... Uh, an Eclipse book that I don't think I have, so I'm actually really happy to get that. I'm trying to put a full run of Eclipse together. I think I'm at uh, 450 books, so I'm probably about halfway. So if I can get any Eclipse for super cheap that I need, I am thrilled. Uh, Jack of Fables. Do really like the Fables stuff. Uh, oh, that's backwards. 
I'm very afraid of... Oh, no, it wasn't backwards. It's just a manga book or something. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I think that was like a trick-or-treat free book for a free comic book day or f Halloween. Red Atlantis 2. Ooh, Lumberjanes 29. I was just saying I should have grabbed a bunch of the Lumberjanes. So actually, if there's a bunch of Lumberjanes... Oh, sweet. Lumberjanes. So I wasn't sure which ones I needed, so I didn't grab any. But get them for 50 cents. I'm thrilled. Because if I don't have them, awesome. And if I do have them, I don't mind having duplicates of that. Uh, Becoming Frankenstein. It's kind of a cool cover. Uh, Santenia? Interesting looking cover like that. Alien Legion 6. Year 0. Volume 0. That's a really cool looking zombie cover. Uh, Tales of the Human Target. Nice black label book. Oh, Straight Toaster is a really cool Bill Sinkavage. I don't mind. Like this, I think I can get four or five bucks out of if it's a duplicate. Strangers in Paradise number 66. That's an all time classic. Jupiter's Legacy number one. Awesome Bill Sinkavage cover. Snagglepuss Chronicles. That's a fun, like, modern day version of him. I really like that, actually. Okay, next handful, we got Death Blow, Wildstorm stuff. A couple Death Blows. Uh, Torak Dinosaur Hunter, a higher number. I like getting the Valiants that when it kind of changes over to this stuff, because those I don't see as often. The Killer Inside Me. Uh, let's see, Skybound X number five. Really awesome cover. Love that cover. That's cool. I probably would have pulled that out for a buck. Uh, no Mercy number eight. Fun cover. Like that as well. Number 13. Uh, one poo poo comic. <laughs> The Shield, number two, that's kind of a cool cover. Shield, uh, I guess it's the same number two, just different cover. Empress, issue three. Uh, oh, a duplicate of that. Express Empress, number two. Okay, a few duplicates. The duplicates haven't been too heavy yet, though, so I'm happy about that. Okay, and then last handful from this box, we got uh, Action Philosophers, number four. Empress, number two. Jade Street number three. A couple copies of that. Uh, Jackpot, Afterburn, Jimmy's Bastards, uh, Bronze Age Boogie. That's a really cool looking cover. I like that one a lot. Croak number two. Uh, Warriors Creed, The Wilds, The Web, Achilles Inc., High Heaven. Oh, another really fun Betty and Veronica. That's cool. I don't have that one either. I want to get all these Adam and Hughes series, Betty and Veronica. Oh, another one. That, uh, I might have that one. Not 100% sure. Those are cool, though. They're duplicates, so I can get $3 out of those all day long. Uh, Reactor number one. I grab one of these for $0.40 because it's just a really cool Mad Max style cover. Love the cover on that. And Yao, a uh, drawn and quarterly free comic book day. Okay, box one was fantastic. There's easily 40 books in there that I would have paid a dollar for if I was thinking a dollar bin. I am thrilled with that. I'm definitely buying more of the boxes. Okay, let's go through this box. Box two is going to be... I believe these are all ones I actually picked out at $0.40 cents a piece. So let's uh, dig through that box. Okay, first handful. We got uh, Bionic Kids one-shot. I just love... It's like a cute cover, but it's like the Bionic Man, Bionic Girl, and Bigfoot. If you grew up in the 70s, you know, you love that stuff. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, this really cute Battlestar Galactica one-shot. I love it. I love it. Because it's my childhood, but in, like, cute cartoony format. Another uh, Battlestar Galactica cute one. More Bionic Kids. Like, I love it because it's it's a cutesy version of something I grew up. It's so weird because it's not like kids today even know what this stuff is. <laughs> uh, Evil Ernie one shot. How cool is that? It's like a cartoony version of Evil Ernie. Like, they're kind of funny. And then the little Sonya. These are great. Uh, and the Vampirella one, too. Man, I love these. Another, like, yeah, 40 cents... On these was amazing. Little vampy. Uh, really cool Alex Ross Virgin variant. Uh, not sure if that's AB. Oh, Rainbow Bright books. Those are cool. My wife is going to love those. Rainbow Bright. This one's a little bit floppy. I can put it right in the box. Uh, Rainbow Bright number one. And Fruit Ninja. I kind of want to get all the Keen Spot books. Kind of like the way they look. So I'm happy to grab a couple of those. Okay. Uh, we got a duplicate. I can easily get three or four bucks out of that. Just I sell a lot of nostalgia stuff in my shop, so I'll grab extras. Because for me, that's an easy three or four bucks. So if I sell one of these for four, it pays for ten comics. Uh, Fusion, I didn't think I had these yet. So again, I'm working on my Eclipse runs. So I was actually happy to get a couple Eclipse books I thought I needed. And these are gorgeous covers. Just really fun painted covers. How gorgeous are these? I love those. 
Uh, we Live, Age of the Paladins, number five. Love We Live. Uh, some 2000 AD free book. I don't know exactly what it is because it's a mashup of the Leave Extraordinary Gentleman and stuff. I just thought it looked really cool. Uh, Piranha Press, I've been trying to... Oh, that one has a T-pull. I didn't notice that. All right, that's okay. Not the end of the world. I paid cheap on these. Uh, but I want to get all the Piranha Press stuff. So I grabbed a set of these Invaders from home. thought these looked really fun. Uh, Vertigo, Life During Wartime. A fun Frank Quietly cover. A Warrior Nun Frenzy. I do like the Warrior Nun stuff. Uh, Mech Cadet U, number eight. And House of Slaughter, number one. I'll grab a bunch of those. I feel like dollar's a good investment. They'll be worth something one day. And if not, I'm sure I can get my dollar back. Uh, these are super fun. The It Girl, Michael Arwood books. Oh, let me pull this back a little bit. Really happy to grab some of those. I think Jason got a couple too, which is awesome. Number seven. Number eight. Number two. Number nine. Yeah, I love Michael Arwood works. So any, my, you know, I found a lot of Michael Arwood while digging the bins. I'm thrilled with that. Uh, Good Deeds look like a really fun cover. Blue Flame number two, a fun uh, vault book. Blue Flame number two. I've been trying to pick up vault books. Just I like the way they look. They're the graphic designer who does the logos and stuff really works with artwork well. So I just love like see how the logo is different on there compared to this. They worked with this image and then they worked with this. Like I feel like the graphic designer is really good there. Uh, it Girl 10, more beautiful Michael Howard. Number uh, 11, love it. Tales of Honor. Uh, I don't remember grabbing this one on purpose, so I must have grabbed it by mistake. Uh, Side Lords, number two, a really awesome David Nakayama cover. Love his artwork, so I was thrilled to get that. Uh, Josie and the Pussycats, number eight, a beautiful cover. Uh, Blackbird, number six, a beautiful Jen Bartel cover. I wasn't sure if I had this one or not, but if it's a duplicate, I don't mind because I love Jen Bartel. Uh, Beck Star number two, really fun cover. Love that cover. Beast of Burdens number three, an awesome monster cover, I guess. Uh, Bisto Blanco one shot. I thought that was a really cool looking cover. Uh, Blast of Swords book three. I thought that cover was pretty awesome. Awesome, awesome cover. Okay, let me move those. Yeah, I just everything I pulled out is just stuff that's bringing me a lot of joy. Just so many beautiful covers or things that I was like really looking for. Tartarus, number one. Uh, Will Willington's Lars Killer. Beautiful cover. Again, as you're going to notice, most of these are probably the nicer covers that you'll see out of all the books I went through. Or it might have been like, I love those covers. Like this one, I don't love as much. But since I was grabbing three, I figured I'd grab the other ones as well. That cover's pretty cool, though. Uh, no Fairies, number two. Love Fairies. So I want to grab all these. Uh, number one. Number one again. Uh, number, not sure the number. Sticker on the number. They, uh, you guys at Midtown, don't put the stickers on the number. <laughs> New Way, number four. I thought that was a cool looking Aspen book. New Way, uh, I don't know, number five, I guess. Ooh, more Alred It Girl, number five. That's amazing. Number four, um, that might have been a duplicate. Uh, number three, but again, it's Michael Arrow. I don't mind having extra Michael Arrow because I don't sell a ton of Michael Arrow, but every once in a while someone comes in the shop and will buy like 10 Michael Arrow books. Uh, Marilyn Manor. That's cool. Uh, the Sacrificers. I thought this was a beautiful cover. Gospel. Uh, don't know the number, but that one is gorgeous too. Okay, next handful. We got Star Ward. Uh, more Ninja Turtles. I was grabbing all the Ninja Turtles that I could find. Voyage to the Stars. Love the cover on that. Uh, Darkness Visible. Really creepy, awesome cover. Darkness Visible, number two. Uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I thought that was an amazing cover. Love that. Uh, Archie 172, Silver Age Archie. Not in the best shape, but for 40 cents, why not? Uh, Scarlet Witch, number nine. Awesome Jen Bartel cover. Love Jen Bartel covers. Uh, more Ninja Turtles. I'll grab all the Ninja Turtles I can find for 40 cents. Uh, crossover 3D. I hadn't seen this one yet. It has the glasses. I thought that was really cool. Uh, Peach Momoko's for 40 cents. I have it already, but for 40 cents, I'll pick it up. Really awesome Terry Dotson Adventure Man, number four. Love that cover. Uh, Silver Age Richie Rich book. Yeah, 40 cents. I'll take all day long. Spencer Unlock, number two. Fun cover. Skeptics, number one. That's a really cool cover. Again, I was mostly just digging for covers. So, like, all these are just beautiful to me. Amazing Forest, number six. Uh, Rocketeer, number two. That's awesome. Love the Rocketeer. 
Uh, the Biggest Bang, number two. Fun alien cover. The Spire. I've been trying to buy all the boom books I can get for cheap as well. Uh, Biggest Bang, number three. Fun painted cover. And Biggest Bang, number four. Biggest Bang, number four. So AB cover is probably... Uh, De we have Demons, number one. Awesome peach cover. $6 new. 40 cents on sale. Amazing. And next, we got... Uh, Oh, we had some fun Doom Patrol. I didn't have the series yet, so I thought I'd grab those when I saw them. So number two, number three, uh, we have Demons. This one was signed by Scott Snyder. So that's super cool for 40 cents. Signed book. Uh, Something's Killing the Children, number 20. Awesome cover, awesome book for 40 cents. Really awesome Art Germ Cowboy Bebop, number one. Love that. Uh, Creep Show, number three. That's amazing. A uh, really fun Valkyrie cover. I think these are ones actually my friend Sean grabbed me a little stack of these, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure what comic that is, but that's gorgeous. Oh, a Perulo Red Sonia cover. That's awesome. Dynamite number one. Uh, UFOlogy number two. Fun. I guess it's about aliens, maybe. I don't know. Hex number two. Again, I've been trying to buy as much boom as I can get because I kind of like just... It has usually pretty art and kind of interesting different story, so... I'll grab any kind of boom book I can see. Uh, cluster number one. Is that a Stokey cover? Uh, not 100% sure. It looks like James Stokey. I love the cover, though. Amazing cover. Uh, Dragon Whisperer, number two. Uh, Hell Sonia, number four. I think that's a J. Lee cover. Uh, American McGee's Grim. That's a cool-looking cover. Uh, Protector, number one. I think that's James Stokey again. Love his artwork. Uh, Yokai Watch, just a nostalgia book for the kids that grew up with that. I like getting these like kids' nostalgia books because I know long term these will have some value. Yokai Watch number two and a couple of those. Okay, let me clear these out. Okay, next handful. We got uh, Yokai Watch number two, a couple of those. Uh, Jim Henson Storyteller, these are cool. Really like those. Uh, Jim Henson's Labyrinth number seven, that's cool too. Love Labyrinth. Stargate. I love Stargate. Such a Stargate fan. Uh, not sure of the comic. I guess Turncoat just looks really dope. Love that. I, I'll, you know, if it's a fun indie version variant, I'm going to grab it. Creep Show number two. That's awesome cover. Life with Archie 263. Blossom 666. A fun Archie horror book with awesome cover. The Heathens number three. Uh, Nuclear Family number two. I'm a sucker for art with. Gas mask. I just love the look of it. It's so creepy and awesome. Uh, Vox one shot. That's an awesome cover. Voyages number one. That's a beautiful cover too. I love sci-fi covers. Uh, Harrow County number fourteen. Sci-fi horror. I love genre stuff. Deep Beyond. I love sci-fi stuff done by Pete Maloko. <laughs> uh, Dark Swan number three. I also like fantasy stuff. Jungle Comics number one. Love my Jungle Comics. Uh, find one just a fun like spot foil on that uh, so this is the reactor I did buy just a cool looking you know Mad Max style Captain Ginger a fun cat or anthropomorphic cat cover love that Eternity number one Matt Kind book gorgeous cover uh, Princess Ugg that's cool cover love that one Junior High Horrors another keen spot book the Dark Ages, number six. Let me move these. Okay, we got uh, Girl in the Bay. Really like that cover. I thought it was pretty. Just love the colors on it. Uh, Vampirella, Dage of Thoris. I think that's a J.N. Cleto cover. Gorgeous cover. I'll grab any awesome Vampirella or Dage of Thoris cover if it's gorgeously painted like that. Uh, oh, I think that's upside down. I was trying to grab all these heavy metal element books when I saw a Planeswalker hidden variant. I love Magic the Gathering. I play Magic almost every day, the uh, Magic Arena, so I'll grab any Magic book. Uh, not sure what book it is, but again, it's just another Virgin variant. I'll grab all those when I see them. Evasion 55, really fun sci-fi book. Ninja Tales. That is cool. Oh, limited edition of 500 copies. So it's a limited edition book. That's cool. Uh, Jenna the Holograms, that's super cool. I really, really want to put a full run of that together. Uh, Jenny Freeze and Red Sonia, that's amazing. Glitter Bomb, the fan game. I thought that was a fun cover. Uh, Deep Beyond, awesome Mark Andalfo cover. 18 Days, a gorgeous sketch variant. 
Itty Bitty Bunnies. I thought that looked cool. Uh, and Tales from the Crib. Itty Bitty Bunnies and Rainbow Pixie Candyland. <laughs> I just thought, I thought these were cool. These Itty Bitty Bunny ones. I just thought they were so like over the top and crazy. So yeah, I had to grab the whole stack. Limited edition variant. I don't know how limited edition those are, but those are cool. Uh, Glitter Bomb, the Fang Game. That's a beautiful cover. Okay, we got uh, number one with a bullet. That looks cool. Uh, the Walking Dead Arthur Adams cover. I absolutely love that cover. That's a great cover. I'm not sure if I had it or, yeah, or not, so I just grabbed it. 40 cents. I don't mind a duplicate of that. Swamp Thing. I was trying to grab all the Swamp Thing they had, too, because I really want to work on my Swamp Thing runs. Uh, Kim and Kim, number two. Love the cover. Ignition City, number four. Cool steampunk cover. Alien Bounty Hunter. That's fun. I love sci-fi stuff. Alien Bounty Hunter. Kim and Kim, number three. Another beautiful cover. Number four, beautiful cover. Uh, Shutter, number 18. I've heard this is a really good series. Eternity, number one. That's a really fun cover. That cover is pretty awesome, too. So that's cool. I like trying to get these newer Valiants when they're super cheap. Uh, Birds of Prey, Black Label. Just a big thick. What was this new? New cover price, 10 bucks. So you could bought it $10 when it came out like a year ago or six. I don't even know when this came out. I'm assuming recently. But for 40 cents, heck yeah. Star Wars, Heavy Metal Presents. Uh, Bigfoot, Frankenstein. I thought that was super cool. I love Bigfoot. Fun little mashup idea. Uh, Gossamer, number one. A Midtown Comics exclusive. Next hand floor, we got... Uh, Lock and Key number six. I really love the TV series. So I love picking these up when I can. Uh, Lock and Key number two. So same thing. Beautiful cover too. Uh, really fun Virgin variant. Not sure what series, but that's gorgeous. Uh, Jonesy. Ninjets number two. That's a great cover. Annihilator issue six. Beautiful cover. This is a Will Eisner best writing nomination. That's cool. Gun Cats number three. Love the cover. Gun Cats number two. Love that cover too. Guadalcanal. Uh, that, you know, just a really cool looking war cover. World War II. Japan versus uh, the US. That is cool. I like that. Uh, Glitter Bomb number two. Glitter Bomb number two. I just started grabbing all these because I like the covers. Glitter Bomb number three. That cover is gorgeous. Uh, more Itty Bitty Bunnies. These are awesome looking. I, I just, I love these. I just love the goofy silliness of them. I Walk With Monsters, number four. That cover's awesome. I Walk With Monsters, number two. Also an awesome cover. I Walk With Monsters, number one. That's awesome. I love... For 40 cents, like... I'll probably be putting full runs of these comics together for dirt cheap. So just, like, for under two bucks, I get to read a full series. Whereas there are four dollars buying them new. I love that. I think that's super cool. And, you know, I'm not going to read all these tomorrow. But over time, I'm going to pick up a few and start reading them. Okay, next handful... We got Iron Maiden, or Iron and the Maiden, number four. Uh, Iron the Maiden, number one. Number one, the B variant, B and C variant. Number four, the A variant. Number one, the A. It's so hard to keep track of all these different variants, but these are cool covers. Uh, Fallen Angel, number four. Fun Subway horror theme cover. I love that. Uh, Vampirella, Dracula, Rage, a Perillo cover. That's all for 40 cents. Heck yeah. No one left to fight. Uh, Tank Girl, The Royal Escape. Pop. A pop comic. I had to get that just because it's pop. <laughs> issue 2, Issue 1 of Pop Comics. Uh, John Floyd, number 4. Really, I just love the graphic. It's like under a car and it's like a race. I just love the graphic design of it or the, the artistic composition. Same with this as well. Gorgeous covers. Poison Ivy, number 11. I want to work on my Poison Ivy run. I want to get all of them. There's so many awesome covers in that series. Uh, Little Monsters 8, Jeff Lemire, written, Dustin the Goyan art, uh, Rocketeer number 3, love the Rocketeer, oh, more gem, love the gem, I really want to get all those, uh, Life is Strange number 2, Courtney Grumman in the Twilight Kingdom, that's really awesome, uh, Patient Convenience Revenge, a cool robot cover, Shudder number 10, Shudder number 15, I grabbed a whole bunch of these, Shudder number 8, Okay, uh, Shutter issue seven. Uh, I just grabbed this because it's a cool David Mack cover. I love David Mack stuff. Repossessed, cool looking cover. Uh, another Virgin variant. Elsewhere, I love the cover. I just love the coloring, the composition of that cover. 
Uh, Lumberjanes 56. I did grab one. I knew I didn't have that one, so I grabbed that. Uh, Fun Frank Cho cover. Uh, Inkblot number 11. I just, the cat looks cute. Love it. Hero by Night. I don't remember grabbing this one. This one I must have put in my box by mistake. Oh, yeah. I, okay, these I put in my box by mistake. I didn't mean to pull out the Doc Savages. I mean, they're cool. I mean, I paid 40 cents. They're not the end of the world. And I don't think I have them. But I don't remember grabbing those on purpose. Uh, King Kong, The Great War. The Wrong Earth Purple. Uh, oh, Lovecraft. Unknown Earth. I think a few of those were just a pile that I didn't mean to grab. I just pulled it out of the box. So that was a mistake. But that's okay. Not the end of the world. I would have wanted them eventually anyway. So, that's all right. Price I paid was super cheap. I Walk With Monsters number one. No One Left to Fight. Uh, Calamity Kate. That's a fun cover. Love that. Number three on those. Uh, Born Home. Looked like a fun sci-fi book. Southern Cross. A fun sketch cover. Imperial. Uh, I don't know the number, but I really like the cover on that. Unkindness of Ravens, another really fun boom book. Uh, really awesome looking. Virgin Mary, is that Ascender or Descender? Yeah, Descender. Awesome cover. The Magicians, love that cover. Uh, Chronicles, like a Dungeons and Dragons book, looked amazing to me. Uh, Sharky, awesome cover. Uh, Syrian book one, love this cover. This cover was awesome, love it. Queen of Bad Dreams, a fun looking vault book. Uh, Kim Reaper. Not sure the number, but it looked really cute. Uh, I like the cuteness. Like it reminds me of like Star vs. the Force of Evil or like that style animation. I just I love that kind of cutesy looking cartooning. Uh, Miss Fury number one, love the cover on that. Amethyst number five. I'm not sure which of these I had, but I didn't think I had this one. Beautiful cover. I need to figure out what else I need. Uh, Life is Strange number five. Beautiful cover. Love the coloring on that. Uh, Justice League sixty five. Beautiful cover. Love it. Robots versus princesses. Love my robots. <laughs> so I'll get any kind of weird robot comic book. Uh, By Night. That looks like a cool cover. Okay, next stack. We got uh, more By Night. Number 10. Really fun, cartoony stuff. Uh, Princess List. Number 3. Beautiful cover. Love that. Ooh, Lumberjanes 57. I did grab a few Lumberjanes. Uh, this Peanuts John Carter mashup is awesome. Love that. Azza the Barbed, that's an awesome cover. Uh, circle, I guess. I thought that was a really cool cover. Another circle, beautiful. I just love the color on that as well. Uh, really awesome lyrics, Lee Red Sonia. I would pay three or four dollars for that in a heartbeat. Uh, Moonstruck, beautiful. Like I probably would have bought that and whatnot for four bucks. So forty cents, thumbs up. Josie and the Pussycats. I don't have that one yet. Love that. Uh, Devil Mailer. Cool looking cover or devil, I uh, devil matters. I can't, I can't read it, it's like upside down. But uh, uh, I don't know, <laughs> cool looking cover though. Incredibles number two, that's awesome. Love the Incredibles, a dynamite peach Momoko cover, love that. Extremity number eight, a awesome Daniel Warren Johnson, uh, dynamite. I probably had it already, so I'll just I'll put those in the shop for four bucks. Another fun virgin variant, love that. Nutmeg 5, I thought that was a cool cover. Nutmeg 4, uh, okay cover. You know, sometimes with this indie stuff, when I start buying one, I end up getting the rest just to get the set. Because how often, like if I like the one, how hard would it be for me to find a $5 cover price book for 40 cents? Not the easiest thing to find. Because these, you know, low print. This isn't the kind of thing that make 100000 They might have printed like 5000 or less. Uh, Nutmeg 8, do love that cover though. Nutmeg 6, and uh nutmeg seven so i thought those were fun uh valkyrie three i didn't think i had that issue again more clip stuff valkyrie number three so two i guess different variants uh ninjas and robots i actually did want to put this uh full set together i love the covers on it i hate fairyland number two how awesome is that for 40 cents and uh you know duplicate so i could sell one for like three or four bucks uh lumberjanes gotham academy number one love that cover I really need to figure out what Lumberjanes I need and what Lumberjanes and Gotham Academy I need. So I put the full set together. Because the next time I go there, I'm going to want to grab what I can for 40 cents or 50 cents. Okay, next handful we got Ancient Joe. Really fun painted cover. Uh, Ned the Chainsaw Guy. I really like that. Young Justice number seven. I did look this one up uh, when I got home. I think this is a $10 to $20 book. It might be 
like just the origin or early appearance of Artemis. I forget exactly what their reason is, but this is one of the more valuable ones in the run. And I really like the cartoon, and she was a fun character, so I grabbed that because I knew I had that. I knew that was the one to kind of grab. Uh, really fun Virgin variant. Britannia, I uh, don't know the number, but another beautiful David Neck. Uh, Fence 11, I thought that was a cool looking cover. I should grab the other Fence issues. I only grabbed one or two. I might grab the rest next time I'm there. Grumpy Cat, number four. Pretty awesome. A uh, Woman of Darby Pop, like that. War for the Planet of the Apes, love Planet of the Apes. Uh, Ninja Funk, number two. Boss Logic cover, love this cover. I thought this might be a variant, but this is just the regular A cover. So 40 cents is probably like normal price. <laughs> Cat Shit one, I just love the name of this one. I thought that was awesome. The Me You Love in the Dark. I love how weird the name and just the art looks awesome. Very cool Scotty Young related book. A uh, Dark Interlude, another fun vault book. Dark Interlude number one, so it's probably like an AB variant. Uh, Dick Tracy, Michael Howard artwork, love that. Uh, Butcher Queen number three, awesome cover. Number two, another awesome cover. Uh, Old Man Jack, Big Trouble in Little China. I love the movie, so why not grab the comics? Number twelve. Uh, the action figure variant, which is super dope. Love that. Okay, next handful. We got the Empty Man. Really fun painted cover. Uh, Empty Man number two. Not sure the number on that one. Uh, Deep Blue. Download. Download number three. Download number two. Butcher Queen number one. That's a cool cover. Uh, Freshman number five. They had a whole bunch of different issues of this series. I just grabbed this one because I thought it was a really pretty cover. Uh, Monstrous number 25. Death or Glory number one. Thought that was a beautiful cover. Little Monsters number one. A uh, Dustin Nagoyan cover. Jeff Lemire written again. Horizon Zero Dawn number two. I love video game comics. Invader Zim number seven. A variant. That's super dope. Uh, House of Slaughter 14. Uh, Dark, Army of Darkness, number one. A couple of those. Soulfire, number three. Moonstruck, number five. Again, a kind of cutesy, cartoony cover. The Land of Time Forgot, number two. I thought this was a beautiful cover. Love it. Oh, and uh, Invaders from Home, book three. That might have been a duplicate, but that's all right. I don't mind duplicates if it's something cool. Last stack for this box. We got uh, Steeple, number three. Not my backyard. I thought that was a really fun cover. Steeple number three. So two different versions of that. Uh, G.I. Joe number seven. Really fun cover. I love that. Radiant Black number five. Uh, Jersey Gods number seven. Also Michael Arwood cover. Jersey Gods number six. Another Michael Arwood cover. Uh, Grendel number 20. Grendel number 21. Grendel number 22. I'll pick these up all day long for 40 cents. Uh, Catwoman 53, awesome David Nakayama cover. Jersey Gods, number 12. Uh, what's the furthest place from here? Number 14. And number 15. Those are cool. Uh, Unnatural Blue Blood, number one. Mark and Delfo cover, love that. And Rock Stars, number one. I think that's just a fantastic cover. Really cool books. Okay, let's go on to the next box. Okay, I think we're going to go through this box now. This is another one of the mystery boxes. All right. Let's see what's inside. The first mystery box was awesome. So hopefully this one is as nice. Uh, carbon gray. That looks really cool. Uh, beautiful creatures. That's a beautiful. Oh, that's a trade paperback. That's even better. 40 cents for a trade is awesome. Uh, Nexus 48. I probably have that one. Yeah, those I probably have already. Oblivion Song number five. That's cool. White Lily number two. Uh, Welcome to Paradise, number two. That's cool. We Live Ages of Paladin, number one. That's awesome. Comet something, number nine. Uh, not sure a Virgin variant, but that's super cool. Metal Society, number four. Ooh, Battlestar Galactica. That's awesome. Oh, a Virgin variant for Battlestar Galactica. That's awesome, too. Very awesome. Battlestar Galactica, number one. Uh, Johnny Quest, number four. That's super dope. Oh, a couple of those. So I'll have a duplicate for the shop. Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, it's a one-shot, I guess. Awesome cover. Okay, so far, pretty good. So far, I'm liking what I see. Man with no name, number five. The Cleaners, number one. 
More Battlestar Galactica. All right, Battlestar Galactica number two. King Conan number two. Uh, Eternus number one. Cyblade number two. Great Pacific number two. Uh, Swan Songs. The Lone Ranger. The Wicked and the Divine number 32. Fathom number two. That's really cool. Love that cover. Uh, Wicked and Divine number 38. Wicked and Divine number 32. That's cool as well. Damn. Okay, I'm finding a few things that I would have picked out for 40 cents, I think. So good so far. Uh, oh, we have one duplicate. Duplicates are good, though. I can put those in the shop. Uh, Giant Days. Boom book. That's awesome. White Savior, number two. The Great British Bump Off. That looks cool. Oh, this looks awesome. Uh, Kino, not sure. Is it? I don't know how it goes. That looks amazing, though. I love that. White Savior, number two. Tales from the Dead Astronaut. Oh, that one's cool, too. Okay, I love those. Those are great. Uh, Skyland, number two. Skyland, number one. A cool Virgin Variant Tarzan cover. Uh, oh, Ultraverse. Okay, a little bit of a lower ranked book in my mind. Fort number four. Fort number three. Uh, Elvin number three. Ultraverse. Ultraverse is kind of lower on the list of things I'm looking for right now. Number four. But 15 cents each. If I don't have it, I'm happy to have it. Uh, Berserk number eight. That's cool, though. That's a really great book for 15 cents. Uh, Wildfire number two. Uh, the Nightman. Although that's a kind of a nice cover. Awesome cover. And Nightman 14. Next handful, we got uh, Bloodstrike 1. So that's lower on my list. Hangman 1, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, Hangman 1. So two different versions of the Hangman number 1. So a couple of those. A whole selection of these. Hangman Chapter 2. Oh, a couple of those. So a few duplicates. Uh, the Something Count Legacy. That looks cool. I like that. The Harcourt Legacy, number one. Uh, these are cool. I actually really like these. I kind of like stories with like a punk girl in it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the Worst Dudes, number one. The Harcourt Legacy. All right. Those are actually really fun. Hatchet. Fun looking horror book. Uh, Battlestar Galactica is awesome. Love that. Uh, number six. Those are actually really cool. Uh, Colder, the Bad Seed. That's very creepy looking. Creepy horror. Uh, Evil Empire, number one. Fun Boom Studios. Uh, Rasputin. Uh, Heavy Metal Elements. That's cool. Okay, let me move those. Okay. Next, uh, book. Oh. Uh, we got Witchblade 58. Pathfinder Goblins. That looks actually really cool. Another Pathfinder Goblins. More Pathfinder Goblins. A whole run of these. Those are cool. Don't have any of those. Uh, Pathfinder Hollow Mountain. That's a beautiful cover. Love that. Three Stooges. Uh, Buffy book. Do love Buffy. Uh, Skull and Bones, number three. Trees, number two. Joe Gollum, number four. High Heaven. Uh, Savior, number one. That looks like a crane cover, maybe? Yeah, I think that's a Clayton Green. That's awesome. Heroes Vengeance, number one. Some Symmetry? S symmetry? Symmetry? Not sure. <laughs> number two, that looks cool. Eternal Warrior, number three. Second Chances, one. Pisces. That's a fun sci-fi cover. Oh, another copy of Eternity, but that looks cool. Uh, Venus Wars, two. Oh, that's super cool. I actually don't have that one, and that's one I would want. That is super dope. I love the art in those. Uh, hey Kid Comics, that is cool. Oh, a couple issues I hate Kid Comics. Rat Queens, number one. Is that the original number one? That might actually have some value to it. Uh, hey Kid Comics, duplicate. Lock and Key, number three. Love Lock and Key. Uh, Firstborn, that's a cool cover. Love that cover. Uh, Army of Darkness. I'll grab all those that I can find, so that's cool to get that in this box. Uh, Calamity Kate, number two. That looks cool. Another Army of Darkness book. Uh, more Army of Darkness. These I'll grab just for my shop, honestly, because those I can get $3 out of. Any comic based on classic horror is a, a easy to sell thing for me. Uh, next, we got Calamity Kate, uh, The Mighty Mites, 
Something's killing the children. Uh, not sure the number, but that's dope. I don't have that one. That's another great book for 15 cents. The Grave Diggers Union. Uh, these look interesting. So that was a seven, six, number eight. Uh, Gasolina, number seven. Justice Machine, 18. Colder, the Bad Seat, number two. Jersey Gods. Um, I guess it's a homage to early Savage Dragon. I forget. Is it the original number one for the miniseries? I forget. Cool cover, though. This uh, this might be Clayton Crane as well. That's an awesome-looking cover. Norman. That looks fun. Uh, Mike Danger. Pathfinder. City of Secrets. These look super cool. Uh, more of this Hangman stuff. Uh, all right. Another bummer. <laughs> Scorch one, though, like, followed by a really nice, uh, you know, $4 book. Easy. Uh, Witchblade 32A. That's cool. I do like Witchblade. The Greater Good. Gasolina number two. Gasolina number one. That's a cool cover. I really like that. Okay, let me clear these. Okay. Now we have Bad Rock. Kick Ass 4. Impact. More high number Magnus Robot. I'm actually happy because I don't have all those. I'm happy to get those higher number ones. Whereas the lower numbers, I probably have like 20 of each. A Pathfinder. Cat Fight. That looks cool. Hit Girl. Actually, really happy that there's a bunch of Hit Girls in here. Unwritten. Ha ha number two. That's cool. Don't have that one. Uh, Steinberg, Champion of Earth. That's awesome. Love that. Uh, Jeff Steinberg, number one. The Sacrificers, number one. That cover's gorgeous. Uh, Nightman, number eight. Uh, I actually kind of like that cover. Prime, 25. Elvin, number one. I was afraid that these boxes would be filled with, like, Ultraverse and Valiant and stuff. There's a little bit sprinkled in, but it's not too heavy. Oh, and an issue is Saga. Saga 59. It's got a little bit of spine damage, but I could put that out for, like, three bucks. People would buy that. Oh, a duplicate. Oh, those are super dope. I love Saga. One of my all-time favorites. I was even thinking I should just grab all the Saga I see at the shop. Because I know if I put Saga books out, people will buy them. Uh, Firepower number 20. Excellent or blah. Uh, Mass Man, I might need that one actually for my Eclipse run. Mass Man, that's cool. Ordinary Gods. High Heaven. Witchblade. Uh, Grant Morrison's v Vatarix. Vatarix? I'm not sure how you say that. Oh, more Hit Girl. Happy to see those. Jimmy's Bastards. The Mass Man. Uh, Rune. Rune. The Sea Ghosts. Lorna Relic Wrangler. That looks cool. Dead at 17. That looks cute. Uh, more Army of Darkness. That's actually cool. Mister. Okay, happy with that. Next handful, we got the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Dragon Whisperer. At Athena Inc. Igor Movie Prequel. That looks really fun, actually. The Comet. Uh... Illegitimate, illegitimate. I can't. The the guns are throwing me off. <laughs> I kill giants too. That one actually might have a little bit of value. Uh, Samurai number one. Rika, that's cool. Rika was that issue five, issue four, issue three. I think I actually even grabbed one or two of those while digging. So maybe it was the other ones from the run. Uh, Ring of Roses number two. Bloodshot Reborn sixteen. Uh, negative exposure. Piranha is loose. Wild star, wild star, wild star. All right, those bleh. 90s image is just it's so common. I just I'm not the biggest fan of it. And I apologize. I know some people love it. it just it's just not for me. Uh, Stumptown number five. Stumptown number five. Those are cool. Okay, next handful we got Patty Cake and Friends. Looks interesting. Patty Cake and Friends. These actually look really cool. Oh, Stray Dog Dog Days. Uh, what issue is that? That's really cool. I love these uh, cover homages. Those are cool. Oh, and now uh, X number five, the Rose Best cover. That is cool. I have that one already, but I love that cover. Uh, Safe Sex number seven. That cover is awesome. Uh, Explore the Reign of the Dragon Lord. Oh, Etern or, I love uh, finding these, like, you know, they're kind of not always the best, but these really underground or really, really rare indies. That is actually pretty cool. For 15 cents, that's the perfect. Like, I don't want to spend a lot for it, but I'm happy to get in this collection uh red sonia number 25 red sonia number eight uh magnus robot fighter okay not so oh alice ever after i don't have this one number three very cool to get that 
Archer Armstrong, Dragon Age, Dark Fortress. That's cool. Oh, Draculina. That is cool. Oh, uh, David Nakayama, Norma Omen. Nor, nor, I not sure, normal Omen. I don't know what it says under her head, but that cover is lovely. Love it. I don't have that. Uh, the Firstborns. That is really cool. Really cool looking uh, indie book. Fashion Beast number one. That's cool too. Fray number five. Fray number four. I think I have those. Uh, Indigo Children number two. Horseman number one. And Fish Police number five. That's cool. Okay. Thrilled with those. Okay. So far I'm enjoying this box. There's enough interesting things mixed in here that I'm... Um, you know, it's the perfect price that I want to pay for a lot of this stuff. Because I kind of do want one of each eventually. I just don't want to pay a lot for it. A Valiant Reader number one. Vampirella Witchblade. That's actually really cool looking. Uh, another Heavy Metal Elements. The Mighty Zodiac. The Mighty Zodiac. So number one. Number two. Nightman. Cookie and the Kid. That looks interesting. Oh, really fun Danger Thoris. I love that. That's awesome. Torrent number three. Uh, Master of the Universe Revelation. That's a cool cover. Hey Kids Comics. Uh, here comes Calico. Breath of Shadows. That looks really cool, actually. Hey Kid Comics, number two. Uh, Seasons Have Teeth, number one. That's cool. Uh, Carbon Gray, number two. That's a beautiful cover. Uh, Zombies vs. Robots, Undercity. That's cool. Uh, Dark Cloud, Fun Boom Studios. Uh, Resistance. Another handful. Uh, Resistance, again, a different issue. That's an awesome cover, though. Love that. Uh, Resistance number four. Voyages. Uh, this one I have already. Or I just got that one as well, but that one looks cool. Uh, Swashbucklers, like the modern day version. Superior Showcase. That looks interesting. Uh, Disavowed Ride Southern Gothic. That looks really cool, actually. Uh, Joy Operations, a fun David Mack cover. Wildstar. Eh. Uh, the Shield, number two. The Shield, number three. Irredeemable, number 11. Irredeemable, number 13. Irredeemable, number 15. Number 14. Uh, Silver City, number three. Captain Canuck, number three. Number two. Number five. That's kind of a nice cover. Uh, Sonata, number something. Don't know. Beautiful, though. Uh, Harry Things. I guess it's about a uh, Bigfoot or something. Family Tree, a Jeff Lemire book. That is cool. I like that. Uh, War Child. Okay. And one more handful from this box. Hey, we got uh, American Flag 18. Probably have that one already. Super cool, though. Uh, American Flag 16. Dark Ages 2. Irredeemable 5. 4. Uh, Dragon Whisper, number 1. Dragon Age, number three. Uh, Time Warp, number one. Spud, number one. That looks cool. Not sure what that is. Uh, and a Midtown Comics exclusive, Mass. Okay. Uh, that box was a lot of fun. Lots of really interesting, you know, nothing of great value, but really interesting mix of indies. Really happy with that. Okay, we're getting through them. Let's go through this box. This is another mystery box. Uh, the first two have been really good. This looks like it's going to be fun, too. All right, let's dig through that box. Okay, first handful. We got uh, Aerosmith, number one. Beautiful painted cover. Exultant, number one. That looks like a cool uh, usual suspects homage. Love that. Uh, Trouble with Girls. Fun Eternity. Trouble with Girls, number 21. Uh, let's see. Some kind of Marvel sampler or something. A... Not sure what book that is, but it's like a um, virgin variant. Is it a Marvel or something else? Not sure. Uh, Angel Book. Uh, Negaton. Cross-gen book. Spike. A couple of Buffy-related books. Uh, Green Hornet. A couple Green Hornet books. A couple more Green Hornet books. Lots of Green Hornet. Uh, Everybody's Dead, number four. That looks really cool, actually. Okay, we got The Hard Place, number one. Book of Magic, 26. Uh, second sight, I guess. That looks fun. I like that. Snowfall, number five. Wellington, number one. Battlestar Galactica, two. Uh, Sanitarium. Some kind of little mini Ashcan book. Swashbucklers, number three. 
DC Pride number one. Nice big thick book. Oh, another copy of this. <laughs> Kill or Be Killed, a uh, Walking Dead one homage. That's kind of cool. Ultraverse Breakthrough. Eh. So so book. Uh, Protector number two. That's a beautiful painted cover. Love it. It's like a girl on a robot. Love that kind of theme. Uh, Lost in Space six. All these duplicates will go to my friend Raul. He loves Lost in Space. Number five. Uh, number four. Okay, that's cool. That's actually a little handful of Lost in Space in there. Uh, Lost in Space, number three. Number two. Another Virgin variant. This is, uh, oh, Conan Virgin variant. That's cool. Freshman, two. Number two. Jupiter's Legacy, number four. That's fun. Uh, Jupiter's Legacy, number five. Leave it the chance. Oh, a fun foil cover. Gorgeous art, too. Good luck, number one. Fun. Boom Studios. A really fun listener dynamite cover. Uh, 10,000 Black Feathers. Feeder, number one. That's a beautiful cover. Uh, Cluster, number one. Love that cover. I think that's still good. That's the second copy I got, but that's cool. Motorhead, number one. Uh, Welcome Back, number... Not sure the number. Uh, Deathbed. That's an awesome cover. Dark Stars. Oh, we got some bad DC mixed in here. I'm not. It might be a good reading. I'm just saying. It's just the artwork is not doing it for me. Um, Tangled River. That looks interesting. Airboy number nine. Not sure which Airboys I need. So that's cool. I might need it. Irredeemable number eight. Uh, Airboy nineteen. Awesome cover. Look, it's a um, street candy pirate with a machine gun. <laughs> that's kind of cool, actually. Next book, we got Irredeemable 11, number 14. This is a fun series. I don't know what I need. I think I have most of them already, though. Armor Hunters, Emelita, uh, Rules, Maintenance, Broken Trinity, War Heroes, number two, Pit, number one, uh, Local Man, Pit, number nine, Savage Dragon, Savage Dragon. Oh, these are newsstands, though. Oh, okay. These are actually better than I thought. I didn't realize these were a whole bunch of newsstand ones. Okay, those are actually pretty cool. Newsstands are a lot rarer and more collectible and more valuable. Savage Dragon 4. Another newsstand. Oh, okay. I'll take a whole ton of newsstand Savage Dragons for four or 15 cents each. These are probably 5 to $10 books. Number 9, number 8, number 7. Oh, those, oh okay. Jackpot. Jackpot. Uh, sidekick number 6. Wow, there's a whole... Like, normally I'd be like, ah, 90s image, but if it's the actual uh, newsstand ones that are more collectible, more valuable. Those are cool. Happy to get those. Okay, we got uh, Glitter Bomb, the fame game. I did get another copy of that. It's a duplicate. Uh, uh, Valiant's, though. Uh, uh, newer Valiant's cool, though. Faith, that's cool. Sarah Lone, a Sumerian book. That is cool. I like that. I do like the quality comics. Rogue Trooper, that's cool. Number 20. Playthings... Uh, the Hard Place, Mechanism, number one. Slats, number five. Uh, is that a Mark and Dalvo cover? I think it is. not 100% sure, though. I don't see her signature on it. Maybe it's not. That's a different artist. But that's a gorgeous cover. Different artist with a similar style. Really like that one. Burn. Um, Edgar Poe, Snifter of Death. That's cool. I actually grabbed one of those for 40 cents. And I also grabbed one of these for 40 cents. Oh, wow. Those are cool. Okay, we got uh, Gen 27, Dead Romans, Book 5, Maestros 1, Dark Minds 4, eh, eh. Itty Bitty Hellboy 1, Todd the Ugliest Kid on Earth 7, Hellboy 2, The Damnation of Charlie Woodwood, number 1, number 1, Independence Day 4, Kim and Kim, number 1, uh, Quantum and Woody, that's cool. Ripped. Not sure what that is. Echo Lands. Number three. Never Can We Go Home. Young Terrace. Uh, Air Cell Book. That looks cool. I like that. Unit 44. Okay, this box is turning out pretty fun as well. I really like these mystery boxes. Uh, Criminal. Macabre. Meridian. Strange Skies over East Berlin. That looks interesting. Uh, Angel City. That's a really nice cover. I like that. Shovel Noir. I love Shovel Noir. Shovel Noir usually has really cool stuff in it. American Flag, number 21. Deep Beyond, 7. American Flag, 5. 
Chrononauts, the one. American Flag, six. Uh, Stump Town, number six. American Flag, eight. Instant Piano. Not sure if I like that cover. Like, her head just looks oddly positioned. Instant Piano, number three. Number four. Discipline, four. Okay, next stack, we got... Uh, Aspen Comics Legacy, a fun uh, Michael Turner. I paid cover price for it. <laughs> uh, S6X. Uh, oh, another copy of that. Uh, West of Sundown, a cool Vol. Like, Vol does really cool horror covers. Just, again, I really like the graphic designer on them. Ultraverse, Negative Burn, The Nightman, uh, No One Left to Fight, Trio, Interesting looking cover. Human Remains. Strayer one. Uh, no one left to fight. Uh, Sona Versal number eight. That's a fun cover. King Tiger number two. Okay, we got Freeze issue four. Pitbulls two. Second Sight three. 24 Underground. Second Sight 6. Uh, Realm. Street Tiger, number one. That looks kind of cool, actually. The Bounce. Shanghai Red. Uh, Revelations. That's a cool cover. Really like that. Shanghai Red, number five. Blade Runner. Uh, the Dream Merchant. That looks cool. Motorhead, number four. Uh, Black Harvest, number six. And Dead at 17, number four. Okay, next handful, we got Imperial. I'm not sure the number, but that's a cool cover. Dead at 17, number three. Jungle Girl, season two, a fun Frank Cho cover. Agent of World, that's a cool cover. I really like that. Uh, Nighthawk, number one. Hillbilly, number five. That's a cool looking book. Uh, Mega Ghost, number three. That's cool too. No Ones, Woven Heart, number three, Croak, number two, Woven Heart Duplicate, Kim and Kim, number one, Duplicate that, uh, The Love She Offered, Captain Swing, Everfrost, that's, I just love the blue on this one, that's a gorgeous looking book, uh, Resistance, free comic book day comic, Wild Guard number one. Something about that cover I kind of like. Grave Lilies. I really like that cover. That's a great looking cover. Just a fun color. Deuce of Hearts. Number one. Feud. Number two. And the Victorian. Number three. Okay. Next we have uh, Void Walker. Number one. Crosswind. Number two. Oops. Star Wars Legacy, number two. Uh, Star Wars books for 15 cents is always great. Sheena, number five. Oh, we got a little bit of cheap Marvel mixed in. Uh, Fathom, number three. Another copy of this. I love the cover, though. I don't mind have duplicates. Uh, Archie's Summer Splash. Dan Parent cover. That's cool. Even though it's a free comic book day comic. It's still cool. Uh, Cyber Force. Curse Words. That's fun. I love Curse Words. Uh, Ruse, Arise, number one. Trees, number two. Doctor Tomorrow, number three. Void Walker, number one. Looks like there's two copies of that. Uh, Damned, number one. Spencer and Locke, number two. Uh, Wraithborn Redo. Oh, Paradise, two. This is cool. I was thinking I should have grabbed these when I saw them, so I'm actually happy they're in this box. Okay. Next stack, we have Athena, Inc. Oh, more Saga. Great. Sagas are great because if I, I'm pretty sure I have it, so that's easy like three to four bucks in the shop. Probably three dollars. Put those out for three dollars. That covers you know three to twenty books basically. Heroes Vengeance, that's fun. Violent Love number nine. Oh, uh, Amanda Connor cover, that's cool. Impossible Incorporated, kind of like that cover. Oblivion number one. Action Lab Dog of Wonder. Heroes of Vengeance Duplicate Sync number nine. V.E. Schwab, Shades of Magic. The Sadur, Sadhu, not sure. I can't read it. Queen's Country, 
numbers 18, number 17. Unseen Hands, number... What number is that? Number two? Also Daniel Torres cover, though. I really like his artwork. Uh, I might have that one already, though. Because, I, you know, I used to pick him up all the time back in the day. A Metal Men. Unbelievable. Unteens. Interesting looking cover. S6X. Uh, Six Gun, number 40. Deep Beyond, number one. Okay, let me clear those. Okay, uh, another one of these S6X. The Bell Art. Our Clans of Bell Art. I can't read that. <laughs> By the Horns, number four. That's actually a really awesome cover. Love that. Calculated Man, number one. Calamity Kate, number one. That's a great cover. Oh, a couple copies of that. Uh, number two. Is that a Stokey cover? It feels like a James Stokey cover. Oh, duplicate that. Bloodstone 24, Stormwatch 12, eh. Unity 10, uh, Blast of Swords number 2, that's super cool actually. Uh, Blast of Swords number 3, so that's a duplicate there. Bolero number 2, uh, Bomber, Bomb Queen, I guess Bomb Queen, I guess. <laughs> I can't read it. <laughs> Blast of Swords issue 1, there you go, there's number 1, that's cool. Uh, Broken Sun something, Hell is for Kids, that's cool. Another uh, fun looking cover, love it. Oh, two copies of that. Okay, got some duplicates. Okay, next handful, we got Blackbird Issue 1, also Jen Bartel cover. Love that cover a lot. Big Girl 6, it's got a young cover. That's actually really awesome. Big Girls 5, Big Girls 3, uh, Dracula number 4, Blackbird number 2, another beautiful Jen Bartel cover. Firepower 4, XO Manowar Unconquered 5, cool cover. Uh, Feast or Famine number 3, 7% number 3. Overtaken number 2. Fun sci-fi cover. I love that. Carmen number 4. That's a cool cover. Carmen number 5. I do like the covers on the series. They're just very interesting looking. Dark Realm number 1. Another stack. Uh, Iron Wings. Stray number 1. Uh, oh, Puppet Master. That's probably a $5-$10 book. That one, I'm pretty sure, would sell well on my shelf. Keeping it if I don't have it, though. But if it's a duplicate, easy sell. Stray, number one, again. Different for oh, a spawn book. Okay, spawn. it's good to have a little bit of spawn. So Thorogood, Hack Slash, Back to School, number one. Really like that cover, though. She looks really cute. Uh, Humberg, 45. That's cool. Digger, number one. Black Hammer, The End, number one. Firepower, number 12. Um, Mega Ghosts, number five. That cover is super fun. And Power and Glory, number one B. Okay, that box was actually a lot of really fun stuff. I would, you know, paying 40 bucks for a long box like that, I'd buy all day long. I'll end up buying more. <laughs> okay, into box five. We're going to go through this one. I think this is ones that I pulled out for 40 cents each. Let me just double check. Yeah, so this is a whole box that paid 40 cents a book. All right, let's dig through that one. Okay, first handful. We got... Gargoyles number two. I thought that was a really cool looking cover. Gargoyles number two, the David Nakayama cover. That's amazing. Love David Nakayama. Another version of number two. Awesome cover. Perillo cover. Really awesome artists on those covers. Uh, Planet of the Apes number three. That's an awesome looking book. Black Adam number 11, a Jiang cover. I thought that was awesome. Rat Queens number 13. Rat Queens 14. I do like the Rat Queens. Rat Queens uh, number 12. Rock Queens number 11. Rock. I wasn't sure which ones I had, so I just decided to grab them all. The Virgin variant, pretty sure I don't have that. Uh, Mary Jane Black Cat 3, awesome. Uh, J. Scott Campbell cover. Love that. Money Shot number 3, so that's going to be a duplicate. Crying Freeman number 6. A really fun Virgin variant. Empress number 1, a fun Scotty Young cover. Okay. And, oh, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle book. I need to grab every turtle book I see because I would like to fill in my sets and get some stuff for the shop. Okay, let me clear these. Oh, this is super cool. For $1.60, I got this really fun Red Rocket number 7 by Mike Arwood. It's like a Sgt. Pepper homage cover. I thought that looked really neat. And the fact that it's number 7, is there a whole bunch of these? Because I hadn't seen it before. I'm going to have to track down the rest if there are. All right, next stack, we got a Zuck 1 Halloween special. Not sure what that is, but I thought that looked pretty cool. 
Uh, oh, these are the ones Jason found for me. Dan Dare, number one. A cool virgin variant. Uh, I'll grab all the Fortnite comics. I'm just going to put these as like an investment to the side. So when my son's like 30 years old, I bet a bunch of these will be like 10 to 20 bucks a piece. So if I buy a thousand for like 40 bucks, that's a $400 investment that I'm suspecting will be uh, 10 to 20,000 by the time he's like 25, 30. The Jin Hunter, number one. Record of Lotus War. That's fun. Swamp Thing. I need to grab all the Swamp Thing I can find for cheap. Uh, Lucifer, 15. Reactor, number two. Uh, another one of these Gargoyle covers. Super cool cover. Uh, Sweet Tooth, number five. Something epic. I like the name on that. Uh, Ten Grand, number two. Cool looking cover. Joker, number five. Another cool looking cover. Uh, Lost Planet, number four. Pretty sure I didn't have that one. House of Slaughter, number one. Another copy, although this one looks damaged. I didn't realize it was damaged. That's all right. Uh, the Wasp variant. I love the variants where they put all the different versions of the character. Uh, Death Metal, Guidebook 1. Awesome. Uh, Wonder Woman cover. Love that. Edgar Allan Poe's Snifter of Terror. Love that. A couple different issues. Uh, Tokyo Ghost, number 5. Awesome cover. Larry Hama Spooks, number 2. I thought that cover was awesome. Spooks number one. Spooks number three. These are all really cool looking. And Spooks number four. Okay. Next handful, we got the Sorcerer's Children number four. Thought that looked cool. Number two, just a fun old timey, like 80s looking look. Oh, what's the price? $3. It's probably from the 90s. I thought it looked cool though. Sorcerer's Children number one. Uh, Morbius, the Living Vampire, number two. Really awesome Ryan Brown cover. Uh, Billy Batson and the Magic of Shazam, number three. I thought these covers were fun. Number two. Uh, Survivor's Club, number two. Number nine, beautiful cover. Knights, number two, awesome cover. Uh, the Vampire Slayer, number 15. Love that cover. Earth, I mean, honestly, I was cover buying. So, like, a lot of these covers are just gorgeous. Uh, Secret Warriors, number two, a fun uh, Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl cover. Earth Divers, 10, a fun sci-fi cover. Earth Divers, 9. Uh, Nightmare Country, number six. Love that cover from the Sandman universe. Okay, next handful, we got uh, Wicked and Divine, number 16. Beautiful cover. Wicked and Divine, number 25. Beautiful painted cover. Number 27, number 28, number 31, number 32, number 34, number 34, different variant, beautiful cover. Almost looks like a Daniel Warren Johnson, but not 100% sure on that. Gorgeous cover though. Issue 36, number 39. So it feels like I really filled in the end of the run for me. A fun Amanda Connor Wonder Woman book. Another awesome Amanda Connor Wonder Woman. Got a duplicate, duplicate. I'm going to trade to Donald for some Ziggy stuff. A Nightwing 77. Realm of X4. Love this cover. Awesome, awesome cover. Uh, Katchins? Katian? I'm not sure. I love that cover, though. Beautiful cover. Uh, was it Unnatural Order? Awesome vault book. Again, I really like just the graphic design and the artists they use. Vault does really interesting covers to me. Power Rangers 114. Fun cover. Love it. Uh, Abbott, 1979. Fun Boom Studio. Next handful, we got uh, Fallen Friend, Death of Miss Marvel. Really nice cover. Uh, more Fortnite. I'm just Every Fortnite comic book I see cheap, I'm going to grab and throw in a box somewhere and just hold it for the future. Uh, Superman 198. Army of Darkness 2. Different series number 2. Duplicates. The duplicates I'm going to sell. Sure, I can get $3 out of them. Uh, again, a couple of those. More Army of Darkness. People love Army of Darkness. So I'll buy all the Army of Darkness I can see. This is the one, like, I really wasn't buying for the shop. When I saw these, I was like, yeah, I definitely need to grab those for the shop. Because people are always looking for horror stuff. And I can't keep it in stock. So lots of duplications on these, which is great. Fables 122. Wasn't sure which ones I still needed. So I like grabbing the high numbers when I see them. Swamp Thing Reborn 7. New Mutants 19. There's so many lovely covers on this series. Love that cover. Gorgeous cover. 
Uh, Dead Boy Detectives, number five. That's a gorgeous cover, too. Next book, we got uh, Soulfire 3. Awesome book. Space Bandits, number four. I absolutely love this cover. Love the coloring and just the overall artwork. Beautiful cover. This is why I'm buying this kind of stuff. For beautiful stuff like that. The Boys, Dear Becky, number two. That's got to be worth more than 40 cents. Uh, more Fortnite stuff. Still sealed. A-Force number four, fun cover. Swords of Sorrow, part three. Love that cover. Bedlam, not sure the number. I couldn't remember if I had it or not. Uh, Blink, beautiful cover. The Girl in the Bay, number one. Uh, Cave Carson, that's an awesome cover. More Swamp Thing, I'm gonna grab all the Swamp Things. I'm going Next time I'm there, I'm definitely gonna focus. I'm gonna go through DC just to find a bunch of Swamp Things. Uh, Batgirls number two. I want to fill in this run. I really love the covers on it. Batgirl number three. Like, these covers are gorgeous. Instant Piano one. Uh, more Batgirls number three. Another gorgeous cover. Batgirls number four. All right. Love those. Love them. Love them. Uh, Batgirls 13. Again, I really want to fill in that run. I was happy to see a bunch for 40 cents. Uh, this is one of those Joe Hill horror books. I thought that was a really cool looking cover. Basket full of heads. So a few from that series, which is super cool. Actually really happy to get like four or five from this one. Basilic. Was it number seven? Number four. Number two. Barbaric number two. Uh, cute Hellboy. Itty bitty Hellboy number one. And number two. Love those. Uh, Batman Secrets File. I just really like the cover. I thought it was a cool variant. Gunslinger 20, All New Wolverine number 30, uh, Harley Quinn number 3. I think the next time, or is it 3 or 30? No, it's 30 something, 31 maybe. Uh, next time I'm there too, I might actually try to find all the Harley books I can get because I love Harley and I figure if I get duplicates, those I can put in the shop as well. Next handful, uh, we only find them when they're dead. Love the covers on this series. I think they're all pretty cool looking. Don't Spit in the Wind, really fun sci fi cover. Uh, steampunk something, not sure, Ashcan, Nightwing 102, I do want all the issues from like 60 or 70 up, I think I have such lovely covers, I want to get all those as well, Fearless number 4, Fun Miss Marvel cover, Vamplets number 1, there was a whole pile of these for sale that I didn't grab that I'll probably get next time, I think they look cool, Suicide Squad number 8, it felt like a Zerdy cover, but I wasn't 100% sure. I just grabbed it anyway. It's, no, maybe it's a different artist. But I thought it was a fun-looking cover. Uh, Batgirls 18, another really awesome cover. The Wicked and the Divine 29. Justice League 13, awesome Jay Lee cover. Uh, four Kids Walk Into a Bank. I Own Phoenix, Defenders Beyond number 3. I thought that was a fun cover. Uh, Defenders number 5, awesome Michael Arwood cover. Rule? Not sure what that is, but I thought the cover was cool. She-Hulk 9, Fun Gen Partel cover. I grabbed a couple of those. Just really like them. Oh, and then there's a whole pile of Twig. I do like the Scotty Young stuff, so I'll grab anything that he worked on. So we have Twig issue 1. A couple copies of that. 40 cents felt like a steal on that. Uh, number 1, the actual Scotty Young cover. A couple copies of that. Uh, and those I'll probably just hold on to. Twig number 2. A bunch of copies of that. Twig number two, the actual Scotty Young cover. That's super cool. Oh, the Virgin Variant two? That's like our ratio, I think. Super cool. Oh, another Sourceless Children issue. All right. Those are super cool. Okay, next stack. We got Honor and Curse number two. Uh, let's see. Lenore number one. That's fun. Fathom Spinning Our Fate number one. I really, really love this cover. She's just like in this Victorian up. She looks cute. Abigail and the Snowman. Just a fun, fun cover. Cute cover. Uh, Heavy Metal Presents Swamp God. I think that's a duplicate. Voyage to the Stars, number two. Fun cover. Number two, a different variant. Uh, number three, cute cover. Lola XOXO, number two. Love the cover. Uh, I always forget this artist's name, but I really like the artwork. Uh, Executive Assistant, number one. Fun cover. Love it. Alpha King. I thought this cover was super dope. Uh, Section 8, number four. Amanda Connor cover. Emily and the Strangers, number two. Army of Darkness, again, I'm going to grab all the Army of Darkness that I can find. The um, Stray Dogs variant, that's cool. Extraordinary X-Men, Tsum Tsum cover. Bone check, number one. Awesome cover, love that. Fathom, number 10. 
I think. Uh, Fathom number five. Joy Operations number one. Awesome David Mac cover. Draculina number four. I think that's a duplicate. Monstrous Witch Hunt number three. Stake number one. Fun cover. Monstrous number 31. I was thinking I needed some of the high numbers, so I grabbed all those. Okay, Soul Fire number one. Really cute cover. I love it. She's like a cute gangster. I love it. Uh, Honor and Curse number six. I think I just grabbed all the issues I saw that series. Honor and Curse number four. And issue number five. Next stack, we have uh, Eniac number three. I think that's the first print. Yeah, first print. That's cool. Bad Idea basically has first prints, and then like every print after that is just the non first prints. So they don't really label them what printing they are. Getting It Together, number one. Really lovely cover. I love that. I guess this is just a Slice of Life comic. I probably would really enjoy reading. I kind of like Slice of Life stuff. Uh, number two. Minimum Wage, number four. Uh, Jason said this series is pretty good, so I got to find more of those. The Devils are here, number one. Oh, this is upside down. Uh, Star Girl number six. Really fun cover. I like that. Scooby Apocalypse, number 30. I'll grab all those when I see them. Number 35. The D Ward, number one. Oh, I guess it's a retailer incentive, so it's probably a little bit lower printing. The Wicked and Divine, number... The Funnies, number one, I guess. I'm not sure. Really fun looking cover, though. Uh, Everything Archie, number 79. Bronze Age Archie's. Everything Archie, number 18. Lower grade, but I'll grab all the Archies I see when I find them for 40 cents or less. Uh, Ash vs. Army of Darkness. Lost in Space. I grabbed two of these. One for myself, one for my friend Raul. Lost in Space. The Lost Adventures. Issue 5. Issue 5. Uh, issue 6. Issue 6. And Issue 6. A different version. So those are super fun. And Honor and the Curse, number three. Okay, next handful. We have uh, Earth Divers, Ice Age, number eight. Really beautiful cover. I love that. Uh, more Fortnite stuff. Witch Blood, number one. Another fun... I have just something about the Vault covers. I really like. I feel like I want to get all the Vault stuff. I want to just really work on that. Uh, Donald Quest, number four. Sex Criminals. Number 22, number 16, number 20, number 21, uh, Batman, Reptilian, number 5, House of Whispers, number 2, another Sandman Universe book, uh, Hawk and Melee, number 5, that looks like a fun sci-fi comic, uh, Save Yourself, number 1, number 1, so two different variants of that. Uh, Sideways, number 10, an awesome Kenneth Rockefeller cover. Love his artwork. Uh, Fiction Clemens, number 2. It's like a thicker book. Uh, Blackhawk, 234. Silver Age book for 40 cents. Heck yeah. Uh, Donald Quest, number 2. Did I get duplicate or is that a different book? I'm not sure. Uh, Strayer, number 3. Super Zero One, another uh, Amanda Connor book. I grabbed, I grabbed a couple. One's for Donald. Super Zero, number 2. Alright, next stack... We have We Kill Monsters, number four. Uh, Neo Zoic, number three. Really like that cover. Fun style. Arrow, number three. Uh, Redneck, number three. Mosley, issue five. Fables, 152. 20th Century Men, number one. That's a really cool cover. I like that. Unseen Hand, number... Uh, not sure. Oh, number one. Daniel Torres, love his artwork. Uh, Rise, number one. The Wicked and Divine, number 20. Wicked and Divine, number 27. I think that's a duplicate. Awesome Mark Brooks cover. What's the furthest place from here? Number eight. Really like the covers on these. Uh, number five. Number four. Uh, RV9, number one. Okay, next stack we have Batman The Adventures Continue, number four. Really fun cover. The Worst Dudes, number five. I like that cover, too. Uh, Green Lantern, Perillo. I'll grab anything Perillo does, honestly. Uh, Swamp Thing, number three. Awesome cover. Going to grab all the Swamp Things as I can. Uh, Miracle Molly, number one. The Wrong Earth Meat. That looks cool. I really like that. Drafted, number 11. Deathbed, number six. That cover's awesome. I love that cover. 
Plunge number one, awesome cover as well. Vampirella number four, love my vampy covers. Neozoic number five, gorgeous cover, love that. Uh, Multiversity number six, beautiful cover, love that. We Kill Monsters number two, I thought that cover looked pretty dope. Okay, we have uh, Strayed, number one. Fantastic Four, number six. G.I. Joe, number three. G.I. Joe, number eight. Army of Darkness, Furious Road, number one. Deja Thoris, number seven. Number two. Uh, another one of these. Sweet Tooth, number four. Siphon, number two. Phantom Road, number five. King Spawn number 23. I was actually glad I was able to get a few spawns. Uh, Dune number 7. Looney Tunes 273. Uh, Swamp Dogs number 1. That's an awesome looking book. Nia Zoic number 4. Looks like I got a bunch of that run. Uh, Next number 5. Love the cover. Armor Clads number 2. Beautiful cover. Love Robots and Girl covers. Oliver number 2. Olivia Twist, number one. I like uh, sky scenes as well. Sombra, number two. Cool skull cover. Die, 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 number four. Awesome cover. The Worst Dudes, number three. Ancient Joe, number one. Thought that was a cool looking book. Okay, last handful from this box. We have uh, Harley Quinn 31, another copy of that. So I'll have one to put in the shop. Uh, Batman 66, awesome Michael Arley cover. Got a couple of those. 40 cents of steel on that. Uh, more Swamp Thing, love Swamp Thing. G.I. Joe 2, just a goofy looking Destro, but I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, Bizarre Adventures number one, really fun cover like that. More Swamp Thing, love Swamp Thing. Really want to work on my Swamp Thing runs. Basilic number nine. 68 Home Front. I wasn't sure if I had this one. I thought I had the other ones, so I just grabbed this one. If I don't have it, though, I'm sure I could put it in my horror box and get like two or three bucks for it. Uh, Scarlet Couture, number two. Pretty cool looking. Uh, awesome David Nakayama, Catwoman issue. Bloodshot, number 12. Decorum, number one. Rogue and Gambit, number four. Beautiful cover. Love the artwork on that. Uncanny X-Men, number 25. Fun looking Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. variant. Hack Slash, number one. Uh, Fables, number 13. I'll grab the low numbers because I think there's a little value in those. Number 12. Uh, number 11. Batgirls, number 17. Do really love all the covers on that series. I need to find all the ratios, too. Those are going to be kind of hard. Uh, Gross Point, number 3. Really fun cover. Stargirl, number 4. Love that cover. I love it. You know, she's reading the comic. Uh, Shudder, number 3. Shudder, number 4. Shutter number two and Federal Bureau of Physics number five. Awesome, awesome cover. Love it. Okay, on to the next box. Oh, wait, one more, one more. Oh, and then number four of that series. Awesome, awesome cover. Okay, on to the next box. Okay, we're on to box six. This is, oh, okay, so this is a mystery box, I believe. Uh, they'd only do 250 books per mystery box, so it's a little bit less, you know, like. About that much less than a full box. Okay, let's see if I got my $40 worth out of this box. Okay, first handful. We got uh, John Flood number one. That's a really, really fun cover. I like that one a lot. Um, Never Boy number five. That looks cool. Uh, String Divers number three. Really like that one as well. Or is that the back cover? Oh, that's the back cover. No, this is onyx number two that's cool oh these are all backwards okay oh just a couple backwards one okay the fix number six that's kind of a cool cover uh kim and kim number three that's a duplicate i did pick that out though so that's kind of cool uh wool number four a couple of those uh wool number five um welcome back that looks cool wild end number one that looks cool wild number six the Woods, number 25. That looks cool, too. Uh, Butterfly, a fun Noto cover. I like that. That's fun. Harmstrong and the Vault of Spirits, number one. That looks fun. Uh, different variant, number one. Uh, Fuck This Place, number six. That's a cool-looking cover. 
Close over 12. That's cool. Okay, so far we're seeing some really fun stuff. Hellhounds number three. Ooh, Dark Crystal number two. I would have pulled that out. For a buck. Starhawks. Uh, not sure the number. Really indie book. Uh, Evo number three. Black Terror number 13. Ooh, Starship Troopers. That's cool. I didn't grab. I love Starship Troopers. I just didn't like the art so much. So I hadn't grabbed. Or I didn't grab those on the weekend. Black Terror number 12. Number 10. Green Hornet, number seven. Never Boy. That was this number four. Beautiful cover. Love that. Robin Hood, number six. Uh, Robin Hood Outlaw, number four. Robin Hood Annual, number, I guess the 2016 Annual. Okay, let me pull these out. All right, next stack. Oh, okay. That's a score. So we have spring number two. I believe this is the first Jeff Deacle artwork in comics. This is a $20, $30 book. This single issue pays for a half to two thirds of the box. Okay, score. That is actually pretty awesome. Uh, John Flood, number three. Infinite Vacation, number one. Infinite Vacation, number two. Magus, number three. That's a cool cover. It's like a dinosaur fighting helicopters. Uh, Orphan Age, number two. Pandemica, number two. Uh, fun Cobra comic book. I love G.I. Joe stuff. Five Days to Die. That looks cool. Rocket Girl, number eight. Uh, Super Fuckers Forever. I didn't grab one of these, but I'm kind of glad there was one in here because I kind of wanted that. I love the name. <laughs> uh, Neverland. Don't know the number. Hack Slash, number 15. Uh, Voyage to the Stars, number two. That's a duplicate. Midnight Society, number one. It's a fun cover. Park Parkless? Park. I don't. I can't read that. <laughs> Number one. Love the cover, though. Awesome cover. I do have that already, so that's a duplicate for me. Uh, the Mighty Zodiac. Number five. Mighty Zodiac. Number three. Skip to the End. Number two. It's a heavy metal comic. I love that. Uh, da, 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 I can't read the title. It's something percent solution. Number four. Okay, we have a something's killing the children. Uh, Virgin variant. That's cool. What number is that? Number 35. I don't think I have that issue yet. All right, that's really cool for 15 cents. Big Trouble in Little China, Old Man Jack, number two. That's super cool, too. I grabbed a few of those. I would have grabbed that. Cryptocracy, number five. That's neat. Uh, what works? Eh, not so excited for that. Uh, Reactor, that's a duplicate. Beyond the Breach, that looks cool. Haha, ha, number three. Oh, that's really cool. That's a great book for that price. Thief of Thieves, 21. Thief of Thieves, 22. Actually, I feel like we're getting some quality books in this box. Voice of the Stars, number one. Sins of the Sultan Sea, number two. Uh, Phantom Road, number five. Love Everlasting. Uh, Love Everlasting. Eternus, number five. Uh, Vils something. Descent. I don't know what that is, but that looks cool. Uh, Magnus Robot Fighter, love that. That's awesome. The Debt, number 10. Flash Gordon, number eight. That's cute. I love just the cute Flash Gordon cover. Really fun cover. Uh, Flash Gordon number six. Flash Gordon number six, Virgin variant, or I guess uh, sketch variant or uncolored variant. All right, those are cool. Okay, next stack. Uh, Flash Gordon number three. Love Flash Gordon. Magnus Robot Fighter number one. Oh, that's incentive. Oh, that's kind of cool though. I bet that has a little bit of value. Uh, X Files number five. I didn't grab the X Files. I probably should have grabbed all of them. Art Ops number 11. Also, Michael Howard cover. Love that. Micronauts number one. Oh, another art ops. Oh, I really, I feel like this is one of my favorite uh, mystery boxes yet out of all of them. Telos 10. The Killer Inside Me number three. Number four. Really like those covers. Uh, DNA Hacker Chronicles. That looks cool. Something, something blood. Horizon Zero Dawn. That's a duplicate, but that's a cool cover. What's the first place from here? Number six. Birthright reprint. Stuff of Nightmares number one. That's cool. Nexus 63, pretty sure I have that one. Uh, Time Before Time, number one. That looks great. Uh, Jet Cat Clubhouse, that looks fun. Not sure what that is, but it looks cool. Uh, Violet Descends, that's a cool looking cover. Love that. Uh, Justice Machine, number two. Okay, I mean, there's some like kind of older, not as fun stuff for me, but so far this box has had a really good mix to it. Okay, next stack we have Justice Machine number three, number four, Magnus Robot Fighter 24, Hardcore five, uh, Pretty Deadly number three. That's a really cool cover. Love that. 
Jungle Gym 1. Reactor, another duplicate of that. Oh, a duplicate of that. Uh, Sweet Tooth, The Return, number one. Super cool. Uh, Interface, number four. Love that cover. Awesome cover. Chapel 3, eh, not, not as exciting. Divinity 2, that's cool. Youngblood 0, eh. Uh, Harbinger Wars 2, Postal Mark number 1. Uh, Divinity 2, I do really like these Divinity covers. I think they're pretty awesome looking. Uh, Jake Thrash number 2. Uh, Dark Horse Presents number 71, that's neat. Uh, another copy of Jake Thrash. NYX number 8. Tech Jacket number 6. Uh, Carnival de Robotique. That looks uh, kind of awesome, actually. Grim Leaper. Something. Things to Come, number one. That's cool. Okay, next deck. Oh, this is cool. We got a natural blue blood. Was it issue five? Mark and Dolph artwork. I don't have that one yet. I'm actually really excited. I would have, like, if this is on whatnot, I would have paid $3 for that. Uh, open Season, number five. Renegade Press. That's cool. Fubar Summer Special. Lord of the Jungle, Fade to Black, Issue 1, uh, Eternal Descent, Pantheon, Number 1, uh, Duplicate That, Interface, Number 5, Interface, Number 2, uh, Astro City, not sure, that, oh, Number 6, Kaya, Number 3, that's a great cover, I love it, Cull, Number 6, uh, Six Gun Samurai, Number 2, Demon's Regret, number two. Demon's Regret, number one. Uh, 7174 Presents. It's an interesting looking cover. Uh, Grim Fairy Tales, 117. Dynamite, number one. Awesome Perillo cover. Love that. Uh, 18 Days, number one. And Thorax, issue one. Okay, next deck. Okay, we have... Uh, oh, Miss Fury, number one. I actually grabbed one of those... I paid 40 cents for so that's cool duplicate of that Ooh, another perillo red sonia cover surprised that was still there that they're throwing in the 15 cent that's a cool cover green hornet number one uh honor and chris duplicate on that rom by all gauge messina so that's super cool hammer of god i actually might need that one for my first collection that'd be super cool if i need that one uh justice machine 17 uh archer and armstrong number two airboy number 30 not sure if I need that one, but cool to see some more Airboys. Uh, Time Spirit, number four. That's a cool painted cover. Turok, 34. I do like those high number of valiants. Uh, Proctor Valley, number four. High number as in when they switch the logo over. You don't see those as often. The Thing Called Truth. I like that cover. That's a cool cover. Twin Blades, number one. Twin Blades, number two. Oh, another copy of that. Okay, that's a duplicate. Uh, die, Die, Die. Another copy of that. Cool comic, though. Hammer of God, number one. Uh, Jar Skuro, Stone the Awakening, number two, uh, 4,180 Rye, Eternity, number three, that's cool, I'm actually really happy you get that, and Art Brute, number three, okay, that's cool, all right, next deck, all right, this box is turning to be a really, really good box, Magnus Robot Fighter, number three, uh, uh but not as excited for Ultraverse, <laughs> Megaton Man, number three, that's cool, uh, Black Light, I guess. Not sure. Uh, Dark Engine, that looks cool. Dark Engine number one. Those are actually really cool looking. Uh, Dark Days number five. That's cool. You can, if, I see, if there's anything in here that has value, you can let me know. Because I don't know all the Indies value off the top of my head. I'm sure I'm passing by some stuff that actually has quite a bit of value. Uh, Rev something. Not sure, but I love the cover. Really great cover. Uh, Black Hood... Uh, Sting of the Green Hornet. Uh, another copy of the Xeno book. This book looks really, really cool. Some kind of weird, like, technology, life form mashup. I love the way it looks. Uh, Dr. Rigby. Strange Lands, number one. White Savior, number one. That's a duplicate. Uh, Return of the Gremlins, number two. Oh, X Files book. That's neat. Trees, number two. Uh, oh, more X-Files. Okay, I do like the X-Files books. Glad to get those. And Interface number three. Really fun cover. Really cool. All right, let's see what we got. We got Red Sonia Tarzan, Awesome J. Lee cover. Absolutely love that one. Stunning cover. Uh, Project Patron. Cool looking, like, cyborg cover. Really like that cover. Awesome cover. Uh, Grimm's Fairy Tale, 118. 
uh, 118, so A and B covers. Realm Knights, not sure the number. Grimm's Fairy Tale, 116. Sons of the Devil, number one. Number one again. Uh, the Wicked and the Divine, number 26. That's a lovely cover. I love that one a lot. Uh, Clockwork Girl, interesting. Folklords, that kind book, that's cool. Uh, Angel Spike, 12. Many Deaths at Lila Star, number two. I actually want to put this whole set together. I've heard good things about it. Grendel Tales, number six. Uh, David Latham's Furals, number six. That's cool. Oh, a little sticky. Incorruptible, number one. Uh, Children of the Comet, number one. That is dope. Oh, Art Germ Batman. That's a neat book to have in there. Uh, Van Helsing. Not sure the number, but that's a cool book. Uh, Paradium, number five. Letter 44, number two. And Blackjack Ketchum, number one. And, oh, the Phantom 17. Okay, cool stuff, cool stuff. Okay, next stack we got Transformers All Hail Optimus. Exit. Really like that cover. Nicely, uh, like a painted cover. Um, Turncoat. Interesting looking cover. I like that one. X-Files. That's the one thing I kind of wish I grabbed more for, because I'm pretty sure those would sell well in my shop. Uh, Valiant is kind of so-so. I just It's so common. Another one of those. Okay, I'm going to have a couple of those I'm not going to be able to sell. Uh, Resistance. That looks cool. Archer Armstrong, number two. Uh, Rat Queens, number one. Uh, I don't know if this is like a newer... Oh, no, it's Rat Queens, volume two. Okay, not as worth as much as the first one. Uh, let's see. Archer Armstrong, number two. Lazarus Risen, number seven. Uh, Black Hammer, Reborn, number nine. Love that cover. Really cool robot cover. I would have pulled that out. Uh, Magnus Robot, Fighter, 31. Uh, now all five. Clockwork Girl, number four. So another one from that series. Uh, Project Nemesis, issue three. James Bond, number one. That's cool. Uh, Homecoming, number two. The Hunt, I guess it's a one shot or issue one, and Faith number one. I do like Faith. Faith is cool. Okay. Okay. Another stack here. We got uh, Revelations number three. I like that cover. Uh, number five. I think that's a duplicate, but those are nice covers. Uh, Bill and Ted's Most Triumphant Return number one. That is pretty dope. Fifteen cents for that. That feels like a steal. A uh, realm number three. Eh, Bloodshot, though, 15 cents feels like the correct price. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of value. I'm going to try to get 50 cents a piece if someone wants them. Uh, Righteous Thirst for Vengeance. From the Vault, the Pope Files. American Lost in... Or American Lost in America. Interesting Planet of the Apes type superhero mashup. I don't know. American Freak, number two. Battlestar Galactica, number one. That's neat. Uh... Carbon Gray Origins, number two. Do we get... I'm not sure if we got that. I know we got a couple from that series. I'm not sure of that one. Uh, Warlord of Mars. That's a really cool looking cover. I like that one. Uh, v Wars, number four. Ryan Brown cover. Not my favorite Ryan Brown cover, but still cool. Like They're like vampires or something. I like that. Uh, Just a Pilgrim, four. Uh, Beauty, number five. That's a fun cover. The Hangman, number one. Envy... Our Envoy, A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance, Ride number, not sure the number, but that looks cool. Uh, Car Carbon Gray, number one, gorgeous cover. Love that cover. Oh, duplicate that. Okay. Duplicates are good because it makes it easy for me to quickly pull them out for sale. Not that it's going to sell. I mean, a lot of the stuff is not that sellable. I would have to do like a bulk buy kind of thing. Under Scourge of the Sword, number one. That's an awesome cover. Love that cover. Uh, Vamps, Hollywood and Vane, number four. Arkham Manor, number one. A little Batman mixed in. Uh, Saucer, Country, and Bloodshot, five. Okay, that box is pretty cool. We had that one big key issue and like like a good chunk of stuff that is appealing to me or stuff that I wanted. All right, on to the next box. Okay, box seven. We're going to go through this one. This one is packed. These are ones I paid 40 cents a piece. All right, let's dig through that box. First handful, we got... New Lieutenant's Meat? Not sure what this is, but I love the cover. 
Really fun, cute cover. Oh, minimum wage number two. Okay, so I did get another issue from this series. Sound like a really fun, interesting series. Uh, Limbo number one, fun cassette tape uh, cover. I thought that was cool. Uh, Sleepless number three, like that cover. Sleepless number five, thought that cover looked cool too. Code Prue number one, a fun, you know, uh, Forbidden Planet homage. Love that. New Lieutenants of Metal. I guess maybe they're a, a rock band or something. Really love the cover, though. That cover is dope. Actually, I want to look inside these. I'm assuming the interior is similar to the cover. If it is, this looks... Oh, yeah, this comic looks really, really fun. I actually kind of want to read this one. Okay, that looks dope as heck. Okay, we got uh, Perry Diso, number five. Virgin Variant, that looks cool. Verse, number six. Awesome cover. I really love that cover. Uh, Josie and the Pussycats, number six. I didn't have that one yet, so I'm actually really happy to get that. Uh, Echo Lands, number two. One of the few series I have read and I do enjoy. It's, it's kind of like a mashup of multiple fantasy worlds from pop culture, kind of colliding all into one. I thought it was kind of neat. Uh, Eclipse, number 16. Love it. Really cool cityscape. Like post-apocalyptic cityscape. Love that. I love post-apocalyptic storytelling. A uh, Summoner of War Legacy. That looks cool. Another issue. No, can't see the numbers because they're covered by the stickers. Uh, Parliament of Justice. That looks like an. Oh, it's a thick issue too. That looks cool. Okay, put those away. Okay, next handful. Okay, I'll move this back just the hair. Okay, we got uh, Steeple number one. Uh, Myth Adventures number nine. That's super cool. Actually, would like to get all those. Uh, Vampirella. Don't. Oh, number two. Love it. I love the kind of like just the hand-drawn pencil and marker kind of look to it. Uh, Pop Comic again. <laughs> Issue one. That might be a duplicate. I had to get that though. Pop. Uh, Ellie or Ellis, number two. Love the cover. I love the kind of like the cartoony style to it. Uh, Angela Delamore. Really cool looking sci-fi cover. Is that like a monkey in a mech suit? That cool. Uh, Lady Hell, number four. Another Perillo cover. That's gorgeous. Uh, Super Suckers binge book. Don't see the number, but I guess it's a vampire book, but like in a style of an Archie comic. That looks fun. Really like that. Uh, Keith Lomer's Rightif, a 80s sci-fi book. Love it. Love the way that looks. Rika issue 8. I forget which ones I had in the mystery box. So I'm wondering if these are duplicates or just more of the run. Rika 10. Rika 12. Uh, Swords of Sorrow 2. Beautiful Vampirella cover. Love that one. Number three, another beautiful cover. Gossamer, number two. Awesome, just... Well, I don't know what you call that style. Like a, sort of like a Pixar, but hand-drawn style. I don't know, I love the way those books look. A Gossamer, chapter one. Another beautiful book. A uh, Chapter four. These are gorgeous. Love those. Uh, Machine Girl, number two. Uh, I want to look at this one real quick. All right, I'm looking for the, uh, the newer series that came out... Towards the end of last year, I believe. But still happy to get that. Uh, turtle book. Turtle books are cool. I need to get a lot more turtle books. Uh, and Swamp Thing. I want to grab a lot more Swamp Thing books. Uh, more turtle books are always cool. I love the turtles. Uh, Discipline, number four. Versus. Don't know the number, but absolutely love the cover. The cover is awesome. Uh, Space Bandits, number three. Awesome cover. Man. Just some comic, comics like this and this, like these really cool, just fun, beautiful artwork. That just, it brings me so much joy just looking at them. And I will read them eventually. <laughs> I don't read enough comics. I would like to read a lot more though. But for now, I just love making videos and collecting them. Uh, let's see, Blackbird, issue three, beautiful Jed Bartel cover. Cold Spots, issue three, that's an awesome cover. Burnout, number two, love the cover. Crowded issue seven, awesome cover. Uh, Second coming, a Amanda Connor cover. Um, the alternates, really cool cover. I love the spots. Doesn't have a bag of boards, so it's a little floppy, but I love the spot foil on it. That's a gorgeous comic. Uh, second copy of this for Donald. Uh, Sleepless issue seven. Um, Joyride issue one. Xenoholics, that was an interesting looking alien cover. I love that. Uh, Fight Club 2, number 7. Every time I've had these in the past in my shop, I got like 4 to $8. So I'll pick them up when I see them. I'm not sure. If I need it, I'll keep it, especially because it's a cool, like, a, I guess, nuclear bomb cover. But there are some duplicates. So the duplicates I'll sell. 
Uh, Alvira, Mistress of the Dark. That's a fun cover. Uh, Myth Told Tales. Was it number one? That's cool looking. Uh, Crimson Flower, number three. Love that cover. Beautiful, beautiful cover. 33 Eyes, number three. Okay, let's move those out. All right, next pile, we have 33 Eyes, number two. That cover looks cool. Uh, Madahara, number two. I really like that cover. I think there was, let's see, number four was a lovely cover. Maybe it was four. I liked four, and then I decided to go back and get that one to go with it. Uh, Fear Case, Matt Kind, number three. I should grab, they had more. I should grab more. I didn't realize Matt Kind had written it. I became a fan of his after New York Comic Con this year. I, just the way, uh, the thing they did with Bad Idea was so cool that I have been buying anything I see that he's worked on. Uh, Fight Club 2, number one. David Mack cover. Love that. Number five, more David Mack goodness. Uh, Axel, press button. Cool Eclipse book. I don't think I had that one yet. Virgin variant. I'll grab any of those for cheap when I see them. No one left to fight to. Uh, West of Sundown. Looks like a fun old school movie poster. Sirens, number four. Love that cover. That's a great cover. Uh, Myth Adventures, number 10. Love that cover too. Dark Fang, issue three. Absolutely love this cover. I love just the bright white and the red. Everything about this cover is great. Uh, Leave on the Lights, number three. Creepy fun cover. Another Virgin variant. I'll grab all those when I see them. Another Virgin variant. Okay. Super cool so far. Okay, next handful. We got uh, Starship Down. Looks like a fun sci-fi book. Love stuff like that. Screamhorns, number one. Uh, Venus Wars, number 15. These are cool. I want to put this set together. Or I want to finish this set. It's a set that I really like the covers. Uh, I saw this. I had to grab this. It's a Tara McPherson cover. Absolutely love her artwork. So that's cool. Uh, Virgin Variant. Uh, the Massive. Really fun. I guess a forest cover. I love that. Normal Man 3D Annual. That's cool. I might have this one already, but I just grabbed another one because I love the cover. Uh, Call number three. I love all the covers from the series. Gorgeous cover. Giga number one. Another Vault. I just... Whoever does the vault issues, I feel like they just do such a nice job with the like the trade dress and just designing the covers. Because just like it says, Vault Comics number one, Giga in the middle. Great, great, great overall composition. Love it. Uh, Quintar Stone, number two. That's cool. Oh, Howard the Duck variant. I love Howard the Duck. Backtrack number one. Porcelain number one. Beautiful cover. Love that one. Uh Hero Psyche, number one. Awesome work on Delpho cover. Jade Street, number one. Dark Ride, issue three. Wild Stallions, Bill and Ted's, number uh, 12, I guess. Or number one, not sure. Uh, Hack Slash, number one. Gorgeous cover. Conan the Sumerian, a really awesome Lisner cover, number 18. So as you can see, as I was picking, I was just co I was cover buying this time. I was just digging out stuff I thought had dope covers. Uh, Dogs of War, number two. Really cool cover. Love that cover. Uh, Dr. Crow, number... Not sure the number. It's a f cool uh, Plague Mask character, though. I thought that was neat. Grabbed a bunch of those, I think. Oh, let's flip these. Um, Rise, number one. I wonder if this one's worth anything as well. I'll have to look up. I know the other one was worth something because it's a Jeff Deco. I'm not sure if number one is worth anything. Uh, Ninjas and Robots number two. I want to put this full run together. I really like the covers. I think they're fun. Dr. Crow uh, issue two. Another fun, you know, Plague Doctor mask type character. I can't read the title, but that looks, it's a lovely cover. I like that. Another one of these cool Plague Doctor covers. Love it. Number one. Uh, Vampirella number nine. Awesome cover. Uh, Nightwing number 105. I do want to get these high number Nightwings. Uh, Catwoman 56. Beautiful David Nakayama cover. I don't have that one yet. Or I hadn't seen it before. So I was happy to get it. Uh, this was like some kind of art gallery book or something. Looked really cool. Uh, Batgirls number 19. Lovely cover. I love all the covers on series. Such great covers. Uh, Mystery in Space number one. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, Fever Ridge number two. This looked like a, like a Vietnam era... I guess war comic or something. Captain Action number one, Michael Arwood artwork. Love that. Fever Ridge number four. Fever Ridge number three. Fever Ridge number one. Fever Ridge number three. Okay, let me clear those out. Okay, next stack we have uh, Fever Ridge number four. Scooby Doo 122. 
Captain Action number one, Midtown Comics variant. Uh, sex number 26, which is issue six. I think issue one is actually worth a bit. So I just I always grab them when I see them. Uh, Sleepless number 11, that's a beautiful cover. Shutter 17, Shutter 16, Shutter 12, uh, Gasolina 3, a fun swimming pool cover. Analog number 4, I like that cover, that's a cool looking cover. Wayward number 6, that's a beautiful cover. Uh, Winnebago Graveyard, I love the name and the artwork look really cool. Winnebago Graveyard number 1, beautiful painted cover. It might be digitally painted, but just I love the, you know, that like kind of painted look to it. Beautiful. All right, next handful, we have Ghost Station Zero. Lo I just love the colors of this cover. Beautiful composition. Uh, Blackbird Issue 2, beautiful Jen Bartel. I think that's a duplicate. Um, Pearl Number 10, beautiful, like just kind of like sketchy cover. Magic Order Issue 4. Extremity Number 5, Daniel Warren Johnson. Hackslash Number 11. Uh, Mantle Number 3. Mantle number four, love that cover. I thought that was a great cover. Spy Seal number two. I thought that was kind of like a unique look to it. And Spy Seal number three. I'll have to see what the rest of the series looks like. Uh, Paradiso number five, you know, Virgin variant. Sweet Tooth, The Return number one. Damsels in Excess number three. Look at that. Okay, next hand flow, we got Morning Glories number 50. I need to figure out what I need on my Morning Glories one because they had a lot there. I would like to get more. Uh, Witchblade number 69. Love that cover. Witchblade number 70. Uh, Virgin Variant. Always grab those when I see them. Uh, oh My Goddess 109. Wind number one. That was super cool. Uh, Red Room Cryptozillas number two. Uh, 20th Century Men number two. Awesome cover. Love that cover. Damn Them All. Mark Andalfo cover. Love that. Uh, Paradiso number six. That cover is awesome. Love that cover. Gorgeous. Uh, Miss Fury number three. Another beautiful Miss Fury cover. Spy Island number one. Beautiful comic. Spy Island number two. Uh, what is this? Dissidence, I think, number one. That looks fun. Uh, Seven to Eternity number five. A couple copies of that. Uh, I Hate This Place number nine. Awesome cover. Love that. I Hate This Place, number eight. I love that. Uh, Fuck This Place, number eight. The uncensored version. I Hate This Place, number six. Really happy to get those. Those are cool. Next stack, we have uh, I Hate This Place, number five. I Hate This Place, number four. I Hate This Place, number three. I Hate This Place, number seven. Number two. Number one. Uh, the Dead Lucky, number five. Cool cover. I like that one. Hollow's Eve number five. I would like to get the rest of the series. I like her costume design. I don't know if the comics are any good, but I like her design. Uh, Mortal X-Men number 10. The Mark Brooks cover. Love that. Number nine, another Mark Brooks cover. I'll grab Mark Brooks stuff, uh, you know, if it's cheap, anytime I see because I love his art. Uh, number seven is awesome. Uh, number two, beautiful cover. More Mark Brooks number two. Uh, the excellent number four, Michael Howard cover. Love that. Number three, Michael Howard. No, not me. No, someone else. Not sure the artist on that one. It's sort of like a Michael Arwood esque, but not Michael Arwood. Uh, the excellent number one, another beautiful cover, different artist. The excellent number one. I thought she just looked really cute. A uh, Noctura number. Not sure the number, but that's cool. And then the uh, black and white version number eight. Grabbed a whole bunch of Noctura, I believe. Next stack we have uh, Noctura number seven. Noctura number seven, a different variant. Beautiful cover. Noctura five. I hate Fairyland number one. Uh, I hate, oh no, fuck Fairyland number one. Both versions. That those are actually pretty dope for fifty or forty cents. Uh, she Hulk fifteen. Jen Bartel. Uh, Mayday number two. Mayday number three. I like those covers. Uh, Seeker. Not sure the number, but that's a gorgeous cover. World Reader number two, Blood Blister number two, uh, Sir Sir Serious number. Not sure the number, but that's cool. Uh, no Seekers. Se Se no Serious. <laughs> I can't read. That. <laughs> Covers gorgeous though. Love that. Uh, Come into me number one. That's an interesting title. Uh, Soulfire number four. Beautiful Michael Turner cover. 
Next stack, we have uh, Invader Sim number seven variant. That's cool. Michael Arrow, Dick Tracy. Uh, I don't know the name of the comic, but it looks cool. Big Tail. I just they put the prices over the title. <laughs> just put the price like right there. Oh, I all right. That's a duplicate. I must have grabbed that twice. Citizen Rex number uh, one. Um, Hernandez Brothers book. I thought that was super dope. Uh, All Eight Eyes number one. Dan Dare number one. That's cool. Uh, Battle Beast. A con exclusive. Oh, limited two thousand. That's actually really cool. I love Battle Beasts as a kid. I thought it was a cool toy. Uh, Behemoth number one. I also have a lot in my collection. Uh, Casanova something cool. Panda Bear cover. Love it. The White Trees number one. The Beautiful Death number one. The Marked number two. Love that cover. Vanity number three. Beautiful cover. Blastosaurus issue five. I'm actually happy I got a whole bunch of these because these look cool. Blastosaurus number four. So I think I got one through five. Uh, Gut Ghost number one. Cool looking issue. Kind of creepy and cool. Uh, Lucy Dreaming. Super cute. Okay, next deck. Oh, all right, next uh, we got uh, Symmetry number six. Uh, Higher Earth number two. Uh, Vanity number three. Uh, let's see. Dylan's in Blood number two. That's a great cover. Love that cover. Dark Ride number three. I, I love this cover. I think I got this before. I love Carnival, like House of Horror type theme covers. Love that. Uh, Midtown Comics exclusive Transformers issue. That looks cool. A uh, fun mask issue. I love that. I love masks as a kid. Uh, Lazaretto, number one. Uh, League of Extraordinary Corona. It's a uh, Cerebus cover. Love that. I thought that was cool. Darkness Visible, number two. Higher Earth, number three. Lovely cover. Twig, number one. Another cool number one twig. Uh, God Killer, issue three. Uh, Christopher Chaos, number two. Very cool looking cover. Oh, these are backwards. Oh, just one. No, two are backwards. What do we got? We got uh, Freak Show. Don't know the number, but that looks cool. Uh, Junior High Horrors, number one. The Blank Variant. $10 cover price. How crazy is that? Uh, Lum, number three, I believe. I love your Sai Yatsura. I just, it's such a fun storyline. Uh, Jim Henson's The Storytellers, number two. That is super dope. Next handful, another Jim Henson Storytellers, one of four. Uh, Spook House 2, thought that was fun. More Army of Darkness, I'll grab all those when I see them. So a couple of those. I'll keep one for myself and then the rest go in the shop. Uh, Rocketeer at War, Sweet Tooth. Uh, Karas King, not sure the number, another Matt Kind book. That is super cool though. Uh, Strayed number two, love the cover. Fight Club 2, number one, again. Great book. Another uh, Virgin variant. Cool cover. I'll take that any day. Uh, Britanna. Don't know the number. Oh, number three, I guess. Another David Mack. Brilliant Trash, number one. Hypodermic Needle cover. Uh, Hellbreak, number one. That, I think that's a Jenny Friesen cover. Not 100% sure. It's like her style. So, uh, But I'm not 100% sure if it's her line work. It might just be someone copying her. Uh, Metal Society, number one. Really cool cover. I like that one a lot. Uh, Warp, number 17. I wasn't sure if I had that one for my first collection. Uh, Die, Kitty, Die, number one. Super cool. Dan Parent cover. Portal Bound, number five. That looked cool. Portal Bound, number three. That looks even cooler. Love that cover. Awesome cover. Uh, Gun Cats issue. Don't see the number, but that looked good. Is that, did I get another? I might grab another one of those. Mm, Feast Your Eyes Upon the World's First, I think. Magical variant? Not sure. Look cool, though. Uh, Grave Transfers. Again, I love um, Gas Man. I just, it's like a cool-looking theme. Hypodermic Needles again? Or no, Spray Paint. Not 100% sure. Cool-looking cover, though. And then uh, Circle, I guess. Really fun cover. I love that. Oh, did I grab? I didn't mean to grab two of those. I don't, that's not one I don't think I could sell, so I should have just grabbed one. Uh, Sandra, number one. I do love Magic the Gathering. Okay, let's go on to the next handful. Okay, we got uh, Killer, number one. That's an awesome cover. Another Eclipse book. Uh, Wasted Space, number one. Again, it's designed by Volt. I love the graphic layout of Volt books. 
you got the logo there you have this border that gives it this like 1970s feel to it the artwork looks great it all just it fits together really really well uh rise number one the closet that looks interesting haunted high ons uh giant days number uh, i can't tell the, all the numbers are covered <laughs> haunted high ons number five uh junk orbit rabbit i'm not sure <laughs> cool looking uh cover though i love that rumble number five uh, the Low Low Woods, number one. I think that's a Jenna Frizen cover. Love it. Rumble, number four. Uh, Samaritan Veritas, number one. Beautiful cover. Dwellings, number two. That looks cool. Oh, it's a big, thick issue. $10 cover price. Kadoja, number one. That looks cool. Uh, Fusion Eclipse, number 15. Love this cover. Gorgeous cover. Uh, Virgin Variant. Not sure what comic that is, but that looks awesome. A uh, Superman Wonder Woman number 20. I forgot if I had the higher numbers for this. So I decided to grab that. Wasn't sure. Superman Wonder Woman number 26. All right. Super cool. I really, I remember reading the first 10 or so issues. Absolutely loved it. But then they did the um, the Doomsday crossover. And it's just like I, I couldn't keep reading it. Because I had no idea what was going on. But that was a book I was buying when it was coming out each month. Uh, Ninja Super Killers. Fun uh, spot foil on that. Kill Your Darlings. Looks fun. Uh, Antarctica, number seven. Awesome cover. I love the, just the graphic design of this. Number six. Uh, number five. Number four. These are great. I love these. Number three. Number two. I wonder if I got number one. If I don't have number one, my friend Sean probably got number one. <laughs> Junk Rabbit again, number five. That's cool. Love that. Uh, Superman Wonder Woman, number 23. The Looney Tunes variant. Love those Looney Tune mashups. Uh, Star Signs, number one. Arcade Kings, number one. That's super cool. $8 cover price, too, for 40 cents. Amazing. Voice of Space, Fault. Again, I love the graphic design on this. Uh, just even how the one goes. In the, the, just everything about that graphic design is great. Arcade Kings, number five. Flawed, number two. Uh, flawed, number one. The Hunger and the Dusk, IDW, number five. Number three. These look cool. Look really cool, actually. Okay, next handful, more of this Hunger and the Dusk. Number two and number one. Those look really cool. Uh, number one, I guess two different variants of that. Dark Ride, issue nine. Uh, Count Crowley, number one of four. Uh, Skybound, number one, first appearance of Clementine. So kind of a key issue I like to spec on. Every time I see it, I'll grab it. Uh, number one, a different variant. This one might be uh, Ratio, I forget. Uh, oh, more of these kids. I must have grabbed a duplicate of that by mistake. And a duplicate of that. These, I love these, though. Love those. Lois Lane, number 10. That's a lovely cover. The Dollhouse Family, number 6. Uh, Real Science Adventures, number 2. Lovely cover. Read Only Memories, number 1. Uh, Read Only Memories, number 1. It looks like a fun, like, computer graphics, I guess. Read Only Memories, number one. So it's cover A, B, and the Retailer exclusive, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Read Only Memories, number two. Uh, Warblade, number two. Love that cover. Awesome cover. Reactor, number one. Another Vault comic. Even though this is a little bit more of a simple graphic design, I still really like the graphic design on it. Uh, Rags, number four. Let's hear those out. Rags, uh, number four, so a different variant of that. Uh, World Tree, issue one. Not sure which printing that is. Rags, number five. World Tree, issue three. World Tree, issue four. I wasn't sure which World Trees I have, so I don't mind getting duplicates of that. Uh, Junk Rabbit, number three. That looks cool. Junk Rabbit, number two. These are all, this whole series looks kind of neat. Cole, number three. I love the covers on this series. I think they are lovely. Cole, number two. Another lovely cover. Uh, something epic number one man that's an awesome looking cover it's epic creep show issue number one that's cool a uh, call number four wow that's some lovely comics there okay so that's everything in that box uh, i grabbed a lot of really cool stuff for 40 cents a piece though happy with all those all right let's dig into box eight another mystery box i think that's gonna be a lot of fun all right let's dig in okay first handful let's see uh so far i feel like the boxes have been 
pretty awesome, the mystery boxes. So we'll see if we continue with our luck. Guardian Chapter 1, that looks pretty cool. DMZ 71. Uh, another one of these springs, I wonder. Again, I don't know if they're all valuable or just the Jeff Deacle one. Uh, Sigil number 7. Vermilion number 1. Heavy number 2. Cool vault book, really like that. Uh, Chrononauts. Uh, Virgin variant, like a big thick issue. What is that? Battle for Britain from the pages of combat. That looks cool, though. It looks really cool. Uh, free comic book day comic. Alien number 12, a fun... Uh, it's a Marvel comic book, but it's an alien book. That's cool. Max Payne 3. Oh, that's cool. I like video game related stuff. Uh, Ant-Man number 2. Okay, we got some Marvel mixed in here. <laughs> cool issue, though. Unborn number one. They're Marvel boxes. They sell the Marvel mystery boxes for 80. So I feel like that would be a little bit too high for me to want to buy just like a random collection. Uh, Ultramax number one. Brigade number one. Eh, not as exciting. Astronaut down. That looks cool. Animosity number four. Uh, Legends of Oz TikTok and the Calida. That looks really cool. I love that. Fun like steampunk look. Animosity number nine. Uh, AWA Trojan number two. That's a lovely fairy cover. She looks really cute. Uh, Jack of Fables reprint number one. Uh, Death Dealer number... Not sure the number, but that's cool. I would, like, I'd pick that out. I'd definitely pick that out. I'd pick this out too. This is cool. King's Vengeance. Awesome cover. Love that. Uh, Endangered number one. That's an awesome, awesome cover. A Calculated Man number one. Okay. All right. First handful is really, really nice. Box is turning out to be another awesome box. Okay. What do we have? We have a uh, Virgin variant. What is this? This is uh, Seven Days, I guess. Oh, Mirror's Edge number six. That's cool. That's got to have a little bit of value. Another video game comic. Okay. That's really cool. Ah, but then we have a hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> 90s value. It's just so common. I have too much of it. I literally have probably like eight of every freaking issue and I can't sell them. Unwritten number one. Unborn number one. That looks cool. Uh, unborn. Not sure the number, but that looks cool too. Unborn number two. Okay, that's cool. We have a bunch of this unborn stuff. Uh, something Reaper week one. That looks actually really neat. Beyond belief number one. Mm, local man. Like this is a modern comic. Like this is a newer issue that they made look like it's from the 90s. I don't know if I like that. Uh, Lynn Rise, number three. Vermilion, number one. Or Jin Rise, number one. That looks cool. Joe and Max. Um, not sure what that is. Really cool looking Aspen book, though. Nick Wilson, number five. Monarch, number five. Uh, Danger Club, number three. Uh, Fear Case, not sure the number, but another Matt Kind book. That's cool. Nexus Deliberator, number three. Okay, here those. Okay, next handful, we got uh, God is Dead. Not sure the number, but that's cool. Oh, Lumberjanes 24, sweet. Okay, happy to see some Lumberjanes in this box, because I really want to finish that run. Harbinger Zero, and I don't remember what I have. Ah, uh, Stargate, that's cool. Stargate SG-1. That's really cool, actually. Ex Machina, 37, 44... 45 uh vampire the masquerade number five really cool vault book uh carbon gray volume two that's a lovely cover love that one i would pick that one out oh morning glories 29 that's a cool cover i would have picked that out as well oh morning glories number 29 different variant okay happy to see those because uh, those i want x mac and uh, 46 dv8 number one yeah yeah dv8 number three I mean, there might be good reads. I just, the covers aren't doing it for me. Uh, Rose, not sure the number. Powers, number nine. That's cool. I do like Powers. Uh, powers, number 10. And Powers, number 11. Okay, next deck. Okay, next deck. We got uh, Saints 2. Uh, Sex 5. The Others, number one. Union 2. Eh. Uh, phonogram number four. That's cool. Back, eh, okay. Eh. We're hitting like a little bit too much 90s image. Not so excited for that. Horizon number two. 
Empty Zone number four. That's really cool. Fallen Angel number four. Uh, all right. Um, Common Grounds number five. Casanova. Not sure the number. Number five, I guess. Snowfall number one. Rasputin. Not sure the number. The Kindred number three. F the Freeze issue one. That's cool. Uh, Decorum. That's a duplicate. Got that one already. Cool looking cover, though. Uh, Moonshine number one. Uh, second Coming, number five. Man, the Connor cover. That's neat. Uh, duplicates. I can give one to Donald. Or trade him for Ziggy stuff. Common Grounds, number three. Actually happy about that. Common Grounds, number four. Okay. okay. Next, we have uh, the Shadow Glass, number one. Brigade, number three. Seriously, someone wants 90s image. I can put together a bundle for 50 cents a piece. Uh, Redneck, number two. Odyssey, number one. That's a lovely cover. Love that, Matt Faction. Very cool. Moonshine, number one. Duplicate on that. Oh, Limbo, number one. Duplicate on that. Uh, Ringside, number one. Low, number four. Love the cover on that. Low has lovely covers. Oh, Morning Glories, issue three. That's cool. I do really like Morning Glories. Oh, that's a um, Kenneth Rockefeller cover. Made in America number four. That's awesome. Love his artwork. Okay, that's cool. I would have picked that up. Old Guard, issue five. Uh, Farmhand reprint. I can sell you a body. <laughs> Hell yeah. Number four. The Hard Place, number one. Horizon, number one. That's a cool cover. But grade nine. Uh, uh, Lone Ranger Dynamite, number three. Lone Ranger, number two. Uh, oh, this is a duplicate. Got another one of those. Magnus Robot Fighter, number one. That's a cool cover. Uh, oh, I think that's a duplicate on that issue, too. But that's a cool cover. Scrimshaw, number one. Atlas Unified. New York Comic Con exclusive. Uh, Aspen Seasons Winter 2009. So that must be just a catalog of issues. Uh, lovely cover, though. Really lovely cover. Uh, Queen of Hearts, number one. Cool looking vault cover. I do really like the vault books. I really want to work on just like a full set of all the comics they've done. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons number three. Uh, Virgin variant. I think that's uh, Buffy or Angel. Uh, Star Trek Mirror War number one. Pathfinder number two. Uh, the Roche Limit. Valstar Galactica number two. Fun cutesy cartoony version. Outcast second printing of issue two. Uh, Ronin Island, number four. That looks really cool, actually. Ronin Island, number three. That looks cool, too. Oh, all right, cool. All right, we're getting some cool stuff in here. It's not all 90s image junk. Okay, next we have uh, Evil Empire. Don't know the number. Uh, duplicate of this. Deuce of Hearts. Faith, number one. That's fun. Uh, James Bond, number eight. Angel, 42. The Black Bat, number one. Sovereigns, number one. The Wicked, the Divine, number 24. Uh, and and Angelie, I guess, number one. Stormwatch, number one. Uh, while a uh, couple, though, uh, duplicate, duplicate, okay. Uh, Phenomix, number one. Uh, Dissidents, number three. Duplicate that. Horizon. I think that's a duplicate as well. A duplicate that. All right, getting some uh, duplicates here. Decorum, number one. More 90s image. Okay, this is the weakest box so far with so much 90s image. Although there's a lot of cool stuff like this as well. Paradiso, number three. Red Koi, number two. Lovely cover. I love just the coloring and everything. Okay, I like that one. Magnus Robot Fighter, number six. Uh, Joe Gollum. Don't know the number, but that's cool. Another Joe Gollum. Those are both cool. Shut up, die, and... Oh, shut up and die. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Skyward, number seven. Okay, next deck. Okay, another handful. We have Analog Four, so duplicate on that. Uh, Morning Glories, 33. All right, this is super cool because I know I have a good chunk of the run, but I'm missing probably like a third to half of it. So I was kind of thinking I should have grabbed these when I was looking. So getting them for 15 cents is a lot better than 14 cents. So I'm actually really happy to get these. Morning Glories, Gen 13 Bootleg... Stormwatch one. Uh, plastic number one. That's cool. Uh, Tower Chronicles number 12. Uh, cell, I guess. <laughs> uh, 
Lords of Mars, Smoosh, Smosh, Magnus, Robot Fighter, Battlestar Galactica, Bionic Man, number three, uh, Witchblood, not sure the number, but I love the cover, awesome cover, Betty Boop, number one, that's fun, Nightmare, number four, Thieve of Thieves, number 26, uh, Sparrow Hawk, number two, Shadow Man, number two, that's a cool looking cover, uh, the Rose, what is that, number three, St. Mercy, number one, Mystery Incorporated, uh, Die, 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 number four, I think that's a duplicate, The Nightman, number 19, Nightman, number 17, Bad Rock, number 1C, okay, let's get another handful, okay, next handful, we got, uh, Something Harm, looks really cool, love that cover, epic, like, Futuristic War cover. Uh, Jeremiah Harm. Cool looking cover too. I love that. These are from 2006. Wow, I didn't realize Boom was doing stuff in 2006. Oh, Jeremiah. That is cool. Herman Buck. I love the Jeremiah show that was on Showtime like 12 years, 15 years ago. The Herman books are amazing. That is super dope. I give this box a A plus just because that one book. <laughs> the Man With No Name. Uh, but they're still uh, no no Jeremiah beats it all beats him up uh, First Blood Jennifer Blood number one that's cool uh, Winter Wonderland Special Face that's cute really like that cover uh, Lazarus number 15 number 14 Ace number one Death Head number one Xenoholics number two uh, Powers That Be Morning Glories that's sweet I'm actually really happy there's a ton of Morning Glories in here Bad Rock 1B, um, Lost Universe, Kaiju Max, uh, Compass, Soulfire number 5, Mantra number 1, uh, Damsels number 11, Damsels number 10, Damsels number 12, uh, Alien Fire, not sure the number, but that cover is pretty cool. Alright, next handful. Next handful we got... Squarriors number five. That's a really lovely cover. It's cute. It's got like a warrior squirrel mom, I guess, with the baby squirrel. I don't know. I love that. Really cute. Uh, Tamo number three. Early Amanda Connor work. Turok number seven. Ah, more Valiant. Uh, Crimson one shot. Tur I do like the higher number ones, though. Again, these are the ones that I don't get as much, and I think I need a bunch of them still. 31. That's cool. Hardcore 11, though. Nope. Nope. Oddly Normal, number 9. That looks cute. Uh, the Quantum Age, number 6. Looks like a kind of fun like sci-fi cover. Jeff Lemire wrote it. That's cool. Uh, Aria, number 2. Is that Jay? Yeah, Jay and Akleto cover. That's cool. Uh, the Black Monday Murders, number 2. Arch Armstrong, 13. Eh, not really. Uh, the Valiant stuff, I'm like... Uh, Ugh, not as excited to see that because I have so much of it. <laughs> I'm like overloaded with it, but that's okay. I paid so cheap per book that honestly I was kind of expecting to see more of that in here. So I'm actually pretty happy so far. Turok 14, Shadow Man 18, Second Coming. So another copy of that. 100 Bullets 21, that's neat. Uh, Dark Bloody, number six, that's cool. War Heroes, number one. Uh, Transformers, Curse Words, number six. Cobalt Blue, number two. Codename Scorpio. Damned, number four. Turok, 32. That's cool. Turok, 31. Shadow Man, eh. Eh. All right. Archer and Armstrong. Now, I'm saying eh. Valiant books are, are they're fun reads and the artwork's beautiful. Just that they're just so common that I just like, I see them all the time and I'm just drowning in them. That's the only reason I'm going to, eh. I'm not. I'm not saying they're bad books. I'm just saying because they're worthless books, they're just so easy to get that. It's just like I'm not excited to get them because I have them already and I probably have eight of each. Eternal Warriors number 25 and I can't sell them. Okay. Uh, too much Valiant. Uh, uh, more Valiant. <laughs> Drowning in Valiant. Uh, this is cool though. Executive Assistant. That's cool. Uh, the Raid. That's neat. Caliber number one. Uh, Freeway Fighter number one. Uh, no World, number one. Oh, ENIAC. Was that number three? First printing. Okay, let's go. Cool. Another Jeremiah. Okay. Okay, this box is amazing. Jeremiah, number one. Okay, we're back to, like, the amazing level. I love it. 
I'm gonna pull that out. I gotta, I gotta read that one. It's been a while since I've read them. I have them in the hardcover format, but I want to check it out again. My date with monsters. That is awesome. I like that one a lot. Codename Scorpio. Uh, Folklords number two. I, that's really cool. Another Matt Kind book. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Crossfire. It's a fun Eclipse book. Uh, Blaze. So we have uh, some Marvel got mixed in here. And not really that good at Marvel. I mean, it's all right. It's just not great. Artifacts number five. Uh, Banja X. That looks cool. Banja X. So two versions of number one. Okay. Uh, that box is so, so. There's a lot of kind of weaker stuff in it. But there was also a couple of really amazing things. Would I still buy more boxes though? Yes. Okay. This is the final box. Box number nine. Another mystery box. So, uh. Oh, no. We're valiant now. Oh. Uh, okay. Hopefully there's some really cool stuff mixed in this box. All right. Let's dig in. Okay. First deck. We got, uh. Buck Rogers number four. Buck Rogers number three. Different publisher, I guess. Uh, more Valiant. Wildcats Adventure. Uh, okay, Judge Dredd. That's cool. Judge Dredd number eight. Uh, City of Heroes number 12. Uh, a couple of those. Uh, Roach Mill Quits. That's actually a really cool looking cover. Um, Rooter the Big Izzy. Interesting looking. Team 7. Prime Mortals, Just a Pilgrim. That's a fun cover. Uh, Jack Staff. All right, we're going some lowbrow stuff now. Just a Pilgrim. Uh, the Indestructible Man. That actually looks kind of cool. Uh, Enchanted. Sench I don't know. <laughs> Conan, Road of Kings, number eight. Uh, Danger Doll, Amalgam, Lives, uh, Comic Fest. Black... Jack Ketchum, I guess. I don't know. Fear Case. Dark Dominion. Geiger, number one. Okay. Well, Ge Geiger's cool, but so far, the beginning of the box is kind of weak. Uh, oh, Geiger, number one. Okay, all right. We're getting a little bit better here. Uh, oh, Shrek. Shrek book. That's cool. That's like, if I, you know, I could put that in my shop for four. I'm going to keep it, but I'm just saying, if I was to sell it, I think that's a solid four or five dollar book. Maybe three dollars. Three to four dollars. Uh, Shrek number three. Okay, these are cool. I do like the Joe Book stuff because that Disney stuff is kind of rare and tends to have a little bit more value. Uh, Overlook. Okay. Mighty Crusaders number three. Uh, Croak number two. Air number one. Carpy Noctum number six. Zorro. Cyber Nary. Phantom Road. Jeff Lemire book. Uh, Shutter Man, not sure. Oh, Jeremiah, okay. More Jeremiah, okay. Great box. We just went up to level two. <laughs> Eve, that's cool too. I would like to finish that run. Uh, Luger Eclipse, I don't think I have that yet, so I'm actually happy to get some Eclipse because I really want to finish all, you know, everything they published in the 80s, early 90s. I think they did up to early 90s. I forget. It might be just late 80s. Uh, Nexus, number one. Capital. Uh, New Wave, number one. I think I do have that one. Uh, okay, let me look those. Okay, next handful. We have the Great Gatsby with lots of foil on it. That looks kind of cool, actually. Cool looking book. Uh, Private Eyes, Eternity, five. Redneck, number two. Uh, Letter, 44. On e press. I think that's a duplicate. Blackjack Ketchum, number three. Lovely cover. Carbon Gray. I think that's a duplicate too, but a lovely cover. Uh, Twilight War. That looks cool. It looks like a cool manga. Check it out. Deadly Class number 44. That's a nice looking cover. Oh, Farscape. Okay, Farscape is awesome. Love Farscape. Another bump into awesomeness. Uh, New Kids on the Block. That, okay, that's kind of cool. That's a good nostalgia piece. Uh, not in the best shape, but I like seeing it. Lone Ranger and Tonto. Number one. A strong Box. The Big Box of Boone. That looks cool. Uh, let's see. That's number two. Number three. Number four. So it looks like I have a whole run of these. These actually kind of look cool, though. Number five. Uh, Stronghold, number one. Uh, no Fairies, number two. I actually bought some of these for 40 cents. So, I'm, you know, if I don't... I'm not sure if I grab these specific issues. But if I did, I'm happy to have more of them. Okay, next we have uh, Hellbreak, number one. Coyote, number eight. Number nine. Number two. It would be cool if they had the McFarlane issue mixed in here. Fifteen. 
uh, superb. I guess that's number 15. This is number three, superb. Uh, Merlin and Bechter? Not sure. That looks cool, though. I like the cover. Oh, more of these Null Fairies? That's neat. I do like my fairies. Uh, Mighty Mascots. Uh, Pestilence. Uh, Baby Badass. <laughs> that's kind of fun. Another one of these. I do like the cover a lot, though. Uh, Mercury Heat, number two. Uh, Kaiju Kun. Mercury Heat, number three. Men of Wrath. Uh, Mice Templar, number five. Skip to the End, another heavy metal comic. That's cool. Uh, Rise, number one. It's the variant. Uh, Doctor Who, number one. Next, we got uh, Imposter, 21. Uh, Rochelle, two. All right, I'm having fun. It's like a much neater variety. The end of the last box and the very beginning of this box had a little bit too much value in it, but now we're getting more interesting stuff. The Jin Hunter, Black Cotton, uh, Black Cotton, number, I guess that's two, maybe number three. Uh, Thyroid Wave, that's weird looking. <laughs> Chrono Mechanics, number three. No, number two, I guess. Another heavy metal comic. I'm sure that's pretty awesome. Uh, Smelson Comedy is Dying. I really like that cover. Uh, duplicate that. Uh, duplicate this. Okay, duplicates of some kind of eh. Uh, free comic book day. Lady Mechanica. The Life After. That one looks really cool, actually. Holy fudge. <laughs> kind of like that. Uh, troop number one. Troop number two. Troop number two, cover A. Troop number one, cover B. God is Dead, issue 12. Uh, Powers number one. That's cool. Men of Wraith, uh, number four. Okay. All right, next handful, we got Good Luck, number one. That cover is pretty. I really like that cover. Uh, Mercury Heat, number seven. Number seven, a different one. Kaiju Kun, number one. Mercury Heat. Okay, I'm happy that there's just a lot of variety in here and, like, stuff that I don't have. It was a lot. That's why I guess I don't like the value in the 90s image because I have already. But when I get stuff I don't have, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I don't have that. Let's add it to the collection. Who is Jake Ellis? Number five. Number four. Cryptocracy, number two. I kind of like that one. Uh, Dark Ages, number two. Um, Bloodthirsty, number three. Kind of cool cover. Uh, Strange Lands, number five. Zen Intergalactic Ninja, number two. Uh, Bloodthirsty, number three. SSB. No, SSB2. Uh, my friend Sean grabbed one of these. I wonder if that has some value or if it's a key issue. Uh, 7%, number 5, number 4, number 2. Uh, serving Soups. Uh, quantum Teams are go. Jimmy's Bastards. Okay, let me those. Okay, next we have Quantum Teams are go, number 1. Uh, Radiant Black, number 15. Cool cover, I love that. Uh, this is a duplicate, but I absolutely love this cover. I think it's such a great cover. I have to see how many more issues are in the series. I know I got three or four. I want to see if there's a lot more than that or not. Uh, Red Line. Uh, the Life After. Mercury Heat. I guess I got a lot of this run. Number 10. That's number 9. Number 10. 10, I guess. Duplicate. Uh, Kadoja. Interesting. More Mercury Heat. Kadoja. I guess number 1 and number 2. Uh, duplicate number one. That's cool. Number three. Looks like some kind of cool looking uh, uh, kaiju. I gotta look at this. Interior artwork's okay. Not great. It's a black and white comic. Uh, the Blackening, number two. Number three. Uh, duplicate that. I think I got that one as well. So that's also a duplicate. The Zoo Hunters, number four. Uh, Scrimshaw. Uh, letter 44, The Howling, Revenge of the Werewolf Queen, a box, something, something, something. Um, uh, who is this? Backways, number five, lovely cover. Really like that cover. I kind of want to see the rest of the series now. That's how much I like that cover. Okay, next, next pile. Next handful. I'm getting tired. When you film nine boxes in one day, that's like five, six hours straight of showing comics. <laughs> Baby Badass, number three. Kind of like that. Uh, Ballads of Sang. So we got, what is that? Number something, something, something. Green Hornet, 14. Pretty Violent. 
love the cover. Uh, pretty Violent, number one. The B variant, I guess. Oh, more Shrek. Shrek is cool. Curse Words. Oh, that's cool, too. Wildcats, number four. Number two. Wildcats Trilogy. Eh. Uh, we're going to Divine, number 20. The Vein, number four. The Vein. All right, these look interesting. Number one variant. G.I. Joe, number four. That looks really cool, actually. I like that one a lot. G.I. Joe, number eight. Uh, Protector. This is a duplicate, but I love the cover on that. A uh, Man Plus. Number three, interesting looking. Spook House, number three. That looks cool. Red Lion, that's a duplicate. Warrior Nun Dora, number three. Oblivion, that looks cool. Uh, Oblivion, number two. Uh, Psycho List, 18 Days. Uh, Quantum Teens, Argo. Okay, that's cool. Another stack. Okay, next handful we have Neverland. Not sure the number, but... Oh, number one, I guess. Oh, it's cool. I like that. Black Hammer Visions, that's really neat. I don't have that one, I don't think. Number two, that's neat as well. These are all cool. I love uh, Black Hammer. I think it's a really cool comic. Number eight, uh, Sojourn 23. 22, this is the uh, Greg Land um, Sports Illustrated cover. I think that one has a little bit of value. Sojourn 22, I mean 24, uh, 25, 26. I think I have all these already. I might not though. I got my cross gen collection is probably like seventy percent complete, so there's not too much more I need. Twenty nine, thirty, cool cover. Uh, oops, uh, Bionic Man number two, cool cover. Uh, another Bionic Man. Those are cool. I like those. Uh, Trinity Angel. I want to say number six, uh, number seven. Uh, these are kind of like yeah, just the covers aren't doing it for me. Number eight, the Squad Ultraverse. Uh, the Intimates. Swan Songs? Uh, I don't know the number. That's interesting looking. Uh, Betty Boop, number one. Comic-Con exclusive. That's really cool, actually. I like that one a lot. Uh, Silent Invasion. Uh, what is it? I'm not sure the number, but that looks really cool. Wacky Squirrel Summer Fun Special. That's neat. I li really like that. Uh, Kick-Ass Issue 15. Quantum and Woody, number four. Uh, Duplicate Radiant Black. Uh, oh, that's a really cool looking cover. I like that one a lot. Red Man. Not sure the publisher, but that looks really cool. Love that. All right, next handful we got Thunder Agents number five, uh, Angel and Spike number nine, uh, Action Philosophers World Domination Handbook. That looks interesting. Nemesis Reloaded, uh, Fantasy Comics. That looks really cool, actually. House of Slaughter fifteen. Uh, Gunbred, number two. That looks cool, actually. Conan, the Sumerian, 20, 21, 4. The Long Road Home, Stephen King. Dark Gods, number two. Dark, the Impossible. Dune, the Waters of Canely, number three. That cover is awesome. Uh, Virgin Variant, not sure what comic that is, but that's really cool. Next handful, we have... Vox from Apple Comics, number four. That's cool. I love the sci-fi theme stuff. Black Hammer, Age of Dune, number eight. Uh, Black Hammer, Age of Dune, number eight. So a different variant of it. Uh, Vox, number five. Another really cool issue. Number six. I'm actually really happy to get a bunch of those. Uh, Race of Scorpions, book two. That looks awesome. actually really happy to get that. I haven't seen it before, but it looks neat. Uh, Ultraverse book. All right, Nightman, more Ultraverse, Outcast, number nine, number seven, Sex, number six, uh, number five, number four, uh, Kick-Ass, issue six, Kick-Ass, issue four, Dark Horse Comics, number 19, uh, Cyber Seven, number eight. Love the covers on these, but I think I had that one already. Uh, Nightfall, number three. Okay. Let's get another stack. All right, last handful. We got uh, Betrothed, number three. That looks cool. Red Man. I'm not sure the number, but that cover looks awesome, too. Oh, this is really cool. We have a Spike Virgin variant. Yeah, Spike After the Fall. That is a really dope cover. Love that. That is cool. Uh, Buck Godot. Zap Gun for Hire, number seven. I don't know what that is, but that looks really cool. Uh, Badger, number three from Capital Comics. I think I have that one already. Uh, enormous number five, I guess. That's super cool. 
Uh, Next Man Faith, number two. Uh, Santania, the Goddess Kiss, number one. Next Man 12. Uh, Next Man 6. Oh, another one of these. All right, that's cool. Happy to get that. Chest number two. Black Hammer 45, number three. Love that cover. Lovely cover. Uh, Dr. Rigby, one shot. Rise of the Magi. Uh, Turok 24. Turok 23. Turok 22. And Turok 21. Okay, that box was cool. Would I buy these boxes again? Heck yeah.